Hi, Internet. Hey, Internet. Right, so, so today we are we're doing our our one shot, which is gonna be very interesting. <clears throat> All right, so um, so for starters, uh, you guys have um, you guys work in an a, a library in a, in in a different dimension. Uh, the 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 five five uh, little group of uh, of assistant librarians um, who uh, are I mean you you're you kind of you've been co-workers for a little while you're not like super comfortable with each other but you also don't have a whole lot of other company or like peers um, most of the librarians kind of give you orders here and there and kind of treat you uh, uh, I, I don't know like like you're a bit in the way for the most part. Um, <clears throat> for the most part, uh, uh, any orders you guys are given are just passed along through uh, through the the one that's been there the longest, which is Journey. Um, so <laughs> um, Journey, I love it. <laughs> um, uh, why don't you guys go ahead and describe your your characters and give like you can give some like brief personality descriptions just because you you have like known each other for a little bit sure so i'm journey um i've been here for i don't know a while um i just really want to make sure that everybody gets along and really loves working at the library um <laughs> i don't know i think that i just i used to go to the library a lot when i was younger and so i just think that libraries are really important you know um so I'm just here to help y'all out. What do you uh, like look like? Oh yeah, I'm a tiefling. Yeah. Um, there's that. I love how many <laughs> tieflings we have in all of our parties. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All okay. right. Um, I my name is Troya. I I am um, a dumpier, so I'm half vampire and half human. And I, I always wear like big dramatic Victorian-y kind of ball gowns and I refuse to talk about my past. But other than that, I'm just chill, I'm just kinda nice. I like to follow rules, um, get along with people. So that's that's really it. <laughs> Yay. Oh my god. Um, okay, I'll go. Uh, my character's name is Minerva, but she likes to go by Minnie. Um, she's sort of a, I can't remember the race name, but it's sort of like an owl person. Um, and she, uh, so she is in the library because she used to hear voices from God that could uh, prophesize and predict the future. And she used to be sort of worshipped as a prophet in her village. And then one day she just stopped being able to hear the voice of God. And uh, she started doing heavy drugs and um, psychedelics to try and get back in connection with God, but that didn't work. So now she's... Uh... No. No. Hello? Ian? Oh. Oh, no. no. Oh, wait. No. Are you back? Uh, Are you there here? you go. There you go. I see everyone again. <laughs> okay. All right. oh. um, anyway, so she... She's researching to try and figure out how she got first the connection to the gods and then how she lost it and how she can get that back. I would just like to point out that on my screen, Ian never went away. So she, Charlene was in the middle of her character and Ian was just there going, <laughs> Yeah, that was, yeah that was <laughs> But I thought he was saying no, and I thought he was saying, no, save your backstory. Don't tell oh, people your backstory. Oh, yeah, I, I, thought, I thought the exact sorry. same thing, Charlene. Sorry, I didn't realize I didn't disappear for you guys. You guys all went away for me. <laughs> no. You all turned into rabbits, so I was like, no, I gotta go back. It was like attempting to reconnect. Anyway. Robbie. Okay, I'm Belinda. Um, did we decide, I honestly can't remember, did we say Belinda was like a wood elf or did we go human? I don't remember. We went human. Human, okay. I'm human. <laughs> Belinda's pretty much a basic bitch. Um, <laughs> he's that coworker that never shuts up that I guarantee you hate. 
<laughs> and um, you probably know a lot about her, but also nothing important. <laughs> um, she, okay. I'm gonna say like, what's the most basic? She's like strawberry blonde hair, somewhat pretty human. <laughs> I'm just picturing Molly Quinn from <laughs> Castle. <Aww. laughs> All right. Um, I'm picturing like specific coworkers that I've had that I was not a fan of. So. Oh. <laughs> then, <laughs> finally, there's Echo. Uh, she's a pixie with a. Uh, um, with long black hair, uh, she keeps braided, and um, she is she's the only one of you that is in here for disciplinary reasons. She uh, <laughs> apparently she did not uh, return a library book for a very long time, and eventually librarians had to go hunt her down, uh, and so she's not happy about being here. She is pretty pretty aggressive. Seems to really like picking fights, um, but. Uh, Aside from that, um, is mostly ignorable. She's not super intimidating because she is about this tall. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's about, about what I can give you about that. Echo. Character's name again. My character, Troya. Yeah. Troya. Yeah. T R O I A. If anybody's wondering, Minnie's owl type or owl breed. She's a Western so, screech owl. Okay, okay, so Robbie may be the only one who gets this, but uh, Charlie was like, I'm an owl person. And my immediate thought was, owl person. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> bird person is uh, a character oh from. My God, how also, weird. just for reference, I imagine Journey like very much like. Uh, like just like tall and scrappy and like doesn't know what he's doing, but but is really into yeah it. <laughs> yeah yeah. Are, are we basically all females and one male? Yeah. Oh, What's nice. up? <laughs> this is also Alyssa. This is your first male character, isn't it? It is. Yeah. This is my first female character. That's right. It is. Where? Okay. So. No. Ian doesn't count. He's all characters. Yeah, I'm tons of characters. <laughs> um, but let's see. In terms of in terms of characters, I consider super, like party members. I've only have one that identifies as male, which is Resin. <laughs> all right. So, um, yeah. Okay. So, um, normal work day. You guys are uh, kind of. Uh, just going and doing odd jobs. Uh, finally, um, you're kind of given a cart of library books to go return to their spots. Um, these aren't like considered particularly dangerous library books. Uh, you are all aware that there are dangerous library books in this library, thus it being kept on a different plane. Um, but uh, also like, um, any of you who ha have any interest in the history of the library, go ahead and roll intelligence checks real quick. Aww. I'm gonna roll. Oh, 19. I rolled a six. 12. What's my modifier for intelligence? Negative. Yeah, not great. Three, Negative three. <laughs> Oh, what is what is so mine? Nine. Welcome to Andrea's yours, yours is yours is exactly what you roll. Uh, okay, perfect. Yeah, you so I ready. rolled. So I rolled nineteen. Um, Echo doesn't care. Uh, so I, I get a I get a plus two bonus on intelligence, right? So I should have fourteen. Yes. Uh, and okay. Charlene uh rolled. I got a nine after her bonus. Okay. So um, so yeah, uh, you guys um, uh. Uh, Minerva, you know that there's a lot of kind of hidden information here, uh, but the history of the library itself isn't really something you're super interested in. Um, <clears throat> for, uh, for both, um, Troya and Journey, uh, you guys are super into this library, so you've kind of done some digging. Uh, 
you know um, that basically this library was found in an extra dimensional plane at some point and like exactly who made it and where it came from is not known uh <clears throat> so people just kind of like scholars kind of moved in to see what they can learn from it and then in doing so just kind of started running it um so uh so yeah you, you guys would know that much um uh, Journey, um, you have, based on your role, you have a bit of a stronger idea of, like, what areas of the library are maybe, uh, less recommended to go in on legitimate pain of death. Um, <laughs> you've, you and you've kind of, like, been here long enough and been talking to librarians long enough to have heard, like, stories of, like, oh man someone went down there and when they came back their like arms were in the wrong place or something like you know like you got like all these weird little stories of just like don't don't go looking around the library too much um uh <clears throat> but um you do also have uh uh you have been entrusted with the keys from the librarians to help you guys get where you guys need to go uh and you will need to open a few doors to uh um, you guys have been given a, a cart of library books to return to their places. So like, uh, you, 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 you know, you'll need to go through a couple, you'll need to use your keys a couple times to get to where some of these books have to go, but they're not taking you to any place particularly dangerous. Okay. So... <laughs> Well, so, we should definitely go shelve, right? Yeah, we should definitely go shelve the books. So um, I'm all for splitting up responsibilities. If um, if we want to, you know, make it go faster, you know, teamwork makes the dream work, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, but also, does it seem a little bit warmer in here than usual? Because I swear, like, yesterday I wore a sweater and it was completely fine. But today, I, like, I really can't wear my sweater. It's just, like, a little too warm. Do you guys get that? Yeah, yeah, I hear you for sure. Definitely, like, I can relate yeah, to that. Because like, I don't really do well in, like, warm weather. So, I like, I kind of like that it would tend to be kind of cooler here. But I don't know, like, I really like my sweaters. And I wish I could just wear my try, sweater. But try it. Obviously, too warm. <laughs> Troya draws her like big cape a little closer around herself and says, I'm always so cold. Oh my god, that's so lucky. If, oh, I know exactly what you mean though. Cause like, I'm not good in like hot weather, but I like don't like to be cold either. <laughs> Whenever right. I like uh, All right, so we should did, definitely- I'll just like um, get under my feathers and I sort of pluck a few loose ones and it kind of cools down my neck. <laughs> Right, cool. Yeah, that's definitely I never considered that before. Um, but we should definitely make sure that we get these books shelved. So um, it sounds yeah, like splitting really up is maybe not the, the best idea. So I'm really just gonna sooner. we can just like not have to worry about it. Right, exactly. So why don't we just like head over over to the shelf where we need to put these books away and just like get to yeah, work. I mean, like you seem to know what's going on, so I'll just you know whatever you tell me to do, I can do that. Okay, well I need you to put the books away, please. Yeah, well, can you, I don't, like, I maybe not, I'm not super comfortable doing that, like, by myself. Could I maybe have someone to come with me? You know, I don't really like being Sure. Alone. Yeah, sure, absolutely. <laughs> I'd be happy to come with you, yeah. Who? <laughs> Who? Oh, no, sorry. Thought I heard something. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, cool. So, I'm just going to, like, lead us, like, over to where where the books would be put it like need to be put away at yeah um uh as you do you do you you and uh troy journey and troya uh have high enough passive perception to notice uh echo kind of try to sneak off behind a book and vanish from sight <clears throat> oh come on echo not cool this is a team this is a team effort dude fine she kind of comes over and sits on the cart. Troy, you guys, 
pull her along. Try to give her. Trey gives her a look of judgment because anyone who isn't following rules is bad. <laughs> <laughs> All of Rachel's characters have such respect for the rules. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about all. I think this one in particular. <laughs> um, it's almost as if lawful oh, this is the lawful were a alignment. Thing. <laughs> um, I just like the alignment. Um. So, uh, I mean, I'd say, yeah. No, you sound like you're probably chaotic neutral. Okay. <laughs> um. But uh, yeah. Uh, what with as, the drugs? Yeah. Uh, so Minnie's just gonna pick up a book and start reading it. <laughs> while while walking. Um, yeah. Uh, interestingly, and and this is a bit of a an odd uh, quirk uh, that I was not aware of. Uh, Minnie's normal walking speed is very slightly lower than the rest of the groups. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, and. Um, also, you are, you, you, uh, many, you try to avoid some of the more enclosed, like, aisles of books because you're slightly claustrophobic. <laughs> um, but, uh, aside from that. She's not one of them agoraphobic owls you done heard about. <laughs> yeah, no, essentially, essentially because you cannot see the sky and because you do not have, like, wingspan space you are super it just yeah. it just freaks you out but also like you have assisted assistance in being freaked out via um drugs so drugs. yeah drugs because of the drugs right um so this is i don't like this this is this is not good this is not um good. i don't like this so uh <laughs> this library has almost literally no natural light source there are a few magical sconces uh, here and there but it's pretty dark and there are a few areas that are just not lit for four of the five members of you this is not a problem because you have dark vision robbie yeah. you do not have dark vision <laughs> <laughs> Are we just are we going through those areas now? Um, you you go through a couple that are dark enough that you you sincerely like kind of have to watch your feet to make sure like stacks of books that are out of place aren't like <laughs> going to trip you. Um, and for the rest of you guys, this does not even occur to you because like you can see in the dark; it's not a thing. Uh, but Belinda cannot. Um, so as you guys uh, get to a dark dark space uh while minerva was bringing up the back of the group belinda slowing to try and watch her step a little more falls farther behind <clears throat> and but isn't is what still in sight for you guys i mean yeah you've got you've you've actually got really high passive perception so yes so i'm gonna like look around and be like one two Oh, where's Belinda? <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna turn my head all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> She's just in the back over there. Belinda, Wait, what's going on, dude? I listen. I just can't see very well, and I don't know like where you guys are, and I'm really like just trying not to trip right now. Like you know, like I don't understand. It's really dark. And you guys just kind of like are gone. Like, could you like call out so I can hear you? Like, just yeah. say something. Like, just say anything. Like, anything, and I'll. Anything. Um, anything. Turn her head um, back to the group. I'm... She says, "Just leave her. There's no hope." <laughs> I'm gonna like go actually like back to get her and like grab her by the hand and like drag her along, like to catch up with the rest of the group. Oh my god, thank you, Jenny. You're so nice. Thank you so much. Do you think, you know, this, are we, do I, do I have to hold any books? Am I holding any books right now? It, they're all on the cart that's being drawn with you guys. I was gonna say, <laughs> those of us here with library experience. <laughs> Alright, you good now? <laughs> I'm gonna like lean and be like, listen, so, um, I'm having a little bit of trouble remembering. Did I say anything like I don't know, like weird to you, like a couple months ago? Uh, like it was just so long ago that I, I can't remember. But I feel like I might have said something weird to you. 
Yeah, I don't you remember. Have, I mean, like, if you did it, you have one, said so. Know. You have said so many things. Do you guys ever <laughs> stop and think about how your hand is sort of weird? Oh my god, all the time. Like, my hands tend right? to be a little like, bit all dry. The time. Yeah. And right. so, I, yeah, so I have to get like, oils and stuff in my head. I really like, like, like scented oils. They make my hands feel really nice. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I am really scared and uncomfortable, and I would love some sort of like um, food. Is there a snack? Anybody yeah, got, I'm got like a snack? I feel like they should give us like meal plans or something, like feed us. I mean, come on, we're working like how many, how many hours has it been? Has it been like three hours? I don't even know. It's been like 200 years, yeah. 200 uh, years, right? Yeah. They've given us any food. Try. I'm like, my stomach. Yeah, well, that's a great point. I think definitely next time I can make sure that we have snacks, but right now I think we need to focus on getting the books put away. <laughs> yeah, no, like, we need to get that done for sure. Freya suddenly starts thinking about how hungry she is, and suddenly she can hear the blood rushing in everyone else's body. She's just, like, <laughs> suppressing, suppressing her hunger. Oh. <laughs> I'm just yeah, going to find some rats on the ground. <laughs> Do you guys see any? Oh I, God, see I cannot any. see anything. Can I tell you guys how dark it is? Like, I don't know if you guys are just, like, fine with this, but I really cannot see anything. Uh, I'm fine with the darkness. I'm not fine does anybody, with everything is, else. Does, does anybody have any way to, like, um, like make light? Does anybody know how to do I that? I mean, you could set some folks on fire or um okay let's not do that because that's what right, well, you want you want an I idea is i was just trying to sweating. help <laughs> okay, so have we found the shelf yet <laughs> um, <laughs> it is a big library and you do eventually uh i am gonna have minerva roll a perception check um sure <laughs> i rolled uh, an eight Eight plus your so nine. Um, you uh, you do you, you looking around. You swear you can hear some rats, but you have no. <laughs> but you can't quite find them. Is that wisdom? Is yeah. that wisdom? Is there okay? Yes. Um. Right. So um, you guys uh, get to uh, where. One of the books goes. Uh, you get oh. to you get to the area. Uh, you guys may want to, um, uh, I guess, do. I guess I'll make it an investigation check to find exactly where it needs to go on the shelf. Uh, Echo will make yeah, that at two. disadvantage because she doesn't care. Um, <laughs> two, I rolled ten. a seventeen. Okay. Ooh. Uh, yeah. You. You. Oh, you 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 just like turn your head and like your and your eyes just z zero straight in on the spot where the book goes like okay. down down the the way a bit i'm just gonna shelve the book but then i'm just gonna keep my hand on it and just like look at it oh cool good job good job i'm glad that you found where that book goes <laughs> Do you guys um, ever think about how moving, we don't have a place to live, but every book has a place that it lives in, like it's a little home? Oh my god, that is so deep. I never thought about that. I love You're you really guys. <laughs> uh, oh, I love you too. I don't I'm have so a family. Right now. Um... At this point, you guys hear uh, a like a um, like kind of an announcement, doon, 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 and then like magically uh, like thaumaturgy, um, echoing voice in the uh, library uh, <laughs> that says, um, "There." has been an emergency in the library and we are evacuating. Uh, please make your way to the exit as quickly, uh, but calmly and orderly as possible. Um, uh, repeat 
there has been a ah! and then it cuts off. Minerva is going to sit up real straight and then say, "Oh my God, we're gonna die!" <laughs> Try no, 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 we're gonna be fine. Troy is going to very carefully turn to where she knows the nearest exit is and just immediately start walking in that direction. <laughs> I'm gonna get mustache. <laughs> yeah. It's a raid, you guys. It's a raid. Yeah. We're, we're gonna, gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna, just... we're gonna be okay. Do you think someone's attacking? Do you think? Do you think? Um. Oh my god. Okay. So like two months no, ago. I don't ago, think I... that we need to like, be worried so much about what's happening right now. We just need to focus on getting out. There's okay, an exit but, that way. Yeah, for sure. Well, but, I'm just like, gonna like, yeah, so, like grab right? it right back and she maneuvers and walks in the opposite direction, the direction of the exit. <laughs> Minnie! <laughs> Minnie, we have to we have to evacuate. I, while still walking, she turns her head around and goes, No, I just, I gotta get something that's really important. It's from my room. It's fine. I'll be right out. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not, I mean, it's not fine. Like, we've been through this before. Like, when the, when the voice says to evacuate, you have to evacuate. <laughs> when the voice says to evacuate. Uh, make, make a persuasion check, Journey. <laughs> 18. Uh, yeah, Minnie, um, you, you know he's right. Uh, Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Um, plus one, so... Did that... Oh, no, didn't roll. Okay, I have a 12 plus one is 13, so I don't think it worked. Um, yeah, you... Mm, you've got... Your, your stash was really expensive, and there's a lot there, but also you're like, eh, well, I mean, that did sound kind of urgent, and also you are kind of super terrified for your life because you immediately freaked out as soon as you heard that. So you're, you're kind of like, eh, okay, Journey's got a point on this one. Okay, nodding, keeping her head turned back to Journey and just turning her entire body around and walking. She's, right, no, you're oh right. Oh my god. Right, right. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was a pretty cool trick, so maybe you could uh, show me how you learned how to do that uh, when it's, we get outside. Uh, it's neck muscles. I've got sort of a 360 rotate. It's sort of a species mm. thing. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Um, oh, my God. I can't believe really I could just turn my head all around and just look behind me sometimes. Because I don't know, like, sometimes I feel like someone's watching me, and it really creeps me. Oh, God, is someone watching yeah, us? Yeah, She's going to turn No, I don't think anybody's watching us. I think that we just need to get to the exit. Where's Troy? Did Troy get out? Is Troy still with us? <laughs> Troy is definitely as as far toward the exit as she could possibly have gotten. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Troy, as you're walking back the way you guys came, um, you you pass uh, a a a door that uh, kind of goes off to one side and it just kind of opens as you get near Troya it. Troy is going. Troya is going to defer, and she's going to believe that the library is telling her that there's a better exit there. She's just going to, that's, otherwise she would never go in that door. But she's just like, oh, maybe, maybe the library is sentient and is sending me to a better exit. She's going to go in. Okay. Um, uh, as you guys um, get to, uh, as you guys catch up with where Troya was, uh, journey you see that troya has gone through a door that not only uh is normally locked but you don't have a key for um and you have no open? idea how she got it open is it still open right it, now it is still open uh troya troya i don't think we're supposed to be going in there troya i don't even have a key for that door i don't i think we just the exit's the, that way so like, Troy is oh. going to turn back around and say, like, oh, I'm so sorry. And she's going to start trying to come back. Are you guys, did you guys bring the cart of books with you or did you leave it where it was? I would not have brought the I cart of books. I would have just yeah, like, I have Okay. Tro Troya might have grabbed the cart, to be honest. Um, <laughs> did, oh, did you or didn't you? Because this is significant. Uh, I guess I will have, yeah. Okay. Then Echo is still with you guys, asleep on the cart of books. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> so um, yeah, you, you, <laughs> uh, so you do. You, so you come on it back out of the out of the door. I, I mean, yeah, I, I maybe take a look around first. Yeah, um, yeah, no, there, uh, there, there seem to be. It seems to be a nice little room with a few uh, display cases, um, a couple on pedestals, and a couple that are just kind of whole like sections of the wall that are glassed off. Um, just some weird items. Uh, how how much attention are you paying? Um, how weird are the items? <laughs> there's there's what look there's what looks like a an ore. There's a um, a dagger, a sword, <laughs> uh, a a skull with a little sickle by it, um, and uh, oh, what is the last one? Oh, uh, uh, a spool with needles. So Troya, being interested in death and afterlifey stuff, uh, and and that's kind of one of the reasons she's here, is going to immediately kind of like at least lean in and see if there's any kind of description on the skull pedestal. Um, there doesn't seem to be descriptions for the individual items. There is a plaque in the middle of the room uh, that. Uh, that say uh, that just says the artifacts demand a sacrifice. Um, Troya is going to say, Journey, do you know what it means by the artifacts demand a sacrifice? Uh, no. Do you think that's something we should be doing? I'm sacrifice gonna, can, can I, do I don't I don't I don't think sacrifice is a good idea. No. That wasn't um, on my schedule. I, I wasn't sure if it was something that I was supposed to have been doing already. No, well or... I mean the library evacuation wasn't on the schedule either, but that's currently what we're trying to do. Okay, so we should grab those things. Or we we're... could leave them. Yeah, we should do what they are. Are we I'm confused. Are we doing oh stuff God. that's Sorry. on the schedule? Are we doing not on the schedule stuff? And trying to get the fuck out of the library. Someone, but someone just left this ore here with all these artifacts, and Belinda grabs the ore. <laughs> um. Tro Tro Troya goes ahead and, and, and picks up the skull if we're now like handling artifacts. <laughs> I mean, I, I really don't think that we're supposed to be. Uh... No, what? I'm supposed to be picking up. Okay. Like someone left this orb here. Why would there, like, I mean, obviously pause was, like, a planning a or something. And came oh, through because it's actually the artifact. Everyone except Belinda, the, the, uh, just kind of stops in place. And Belinda, as you keep babbling, you hear the sound of, like, waves. <laughs> um,. And then, uh, <laughs> God. Okay. I just find like the sound of waves is so soothing, you know? So, um, as you're doing this, uh, there's a, uh, um, <clears throat> a, like, you, you feel the wash of, like, the ebb and flow of water kind of brushing your feet. And then, like, okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, and then like fog starts to roll in, and you can and and the world around you just kind of fades away. <clears throat> and skimming across the top of the fog, is a uh, a raft starts coming towards you, uh, made of bound wood and with a skeletal figure on top of it, rowing towards you. It, its head kind of clicks and looks at you, makes eye contact with you, reaches out and goes. Um, hi, yeah, excuse me. Do you know where I am? Because I swear I was just in the library and now it's like all this fog and I was just trying to clean up some artifacts. Like, can you just, like maybe give me some directions? You feel the air kind of pulled out of your lungs for a second and you see this like slightly glimmering white a uh, trail of, of mist come out and it enters the the eye holes of the skeleton who just kind of excuse me i don't know what i ate of that happen <clears throat> um as you say that nothing comes out 
<laughs> and it turns and rows away. And as it does, the fog recedes. And uh, you are left there holding the oar. <laughs> uh, you guys watch as Belinda suddenly in mid like ramble goes completely silent. What? What is it? What do you? Th- what? What is it? What is it? <laughs> Belinda, like, <laughs> her eyes are like wide. She like moves her mouth and like looks. Like... <laughs> oh my god, guys! I've lost my hearing. <laughs> Belinda, are you okay? Can you breathe? Like, what is what's going on? It's back. It's back, what do you What do you need from me right now, Belinda? She starts crying. <laughs> I'm just gonna like tentatively go up to her and just like give her like a awkward hug and like very like gently sort of pat her on the back. <clears throat> um, uh, Troya. Yeah. As you are uh, holding the skull and the sickle. Yorking. Uh, um, you. Where is that one? What was? Like, okay. Um. You uh, hear the pulsing of blood in your ears, and you uh, just kind of hear this voice in your head say, uh, I demand tribute. Um, And uh, you feel a slight tingling sensation in your left hand. Uh, and as you glance down, it's just disappearing. Uh, it gets about midway up your arm and then stops. Uh, then, then your arm stump starts to bleed. Though not a whole lot because you are undeadish. Right. (laughs) Undeadish. (laughs) So it's like a like a like a meat cut stump. Yes. It's, um, was it holding one of the things? Uh, yes. The 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 skull mask clatters to the ground. Um, I'm gonna like kind of get down. And <laughs> this is difficult because I'm wearing like voluminous skirts, and I'm gonna try to like I'm gonna try to like. Get the skull under my under my arm, nub, <laughs> and hold it kind of like a football, like Pri- under just under your arm. Priorities. <laughs> I don't have yeah. I don't have a lot of reaction to the arm disappearing. I'm confused, but I'm willing to just kind of you know Roll with it. let let it let it go unnoticed if, if no one else. I don't want to cause I don't want to cause trouble. Um. Yeah, uh, so... So, so... so did anybody even notice that that had happened, or...? Um... Not Belinda. Uh, uh... <laughs> journey, roll, uh, roll perception. Notice. And, uh, uh, yeah, um, Minerva, go ahead and roll perception. Uh, five. Oh, I rolled a two. No, no one else, no one noticed. You're playing <laughs> off. Blood is starting to, like, okay, cool. dribble down the inside of your sleeve. Right. Maybe I'm gonna like, you know, set the sickle down for a second and like try to roll up the sleeve <laughs> as best as possible. Yeah. This is nice. This is this is a nice textile. Well, you could I don't tie, you could use the, the sleeve to tie the skull in like you could loop the, the sleeve through the eye holes and tie it and then you'd just have a skull just on your <laughs> open sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> You mm. could do that. Okay, uh, the skull the skull is not a full skull. It's just the front bit, and you see as you're holding it that it is uh, designed in such a way to kind of hook around your head as a mask. Okay, cool. I'm just going to set that there since I'm down to one hand. <laughs> set that on my face and uh, grab, grab the sickle. So I've rolled up my, my sleeve above my stump. I've put on the skull mask, and I'm holding a sickle now, and I'm also hoping not to alarm anybody with, with, the, with the knowledge that I just lost my arm. So, so instead, 
You're going to wield the sickle and wear the skull mask standing right behind them. Yes. So as not to alarm them. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's why that's why sincere is hope. <laughs> Because um, as sad as I am about Belinda's recent um, nudism, I think we should all go. I'm you, getting you guys, real freaked at this out. point, hear the clanking of metal coming up behind you, behind you, coming towards, like from outside the door you came in. I swivel my head around. <laughs> you, I like also turn around to look and see. You, you don't see anything oh. immediately. This this guy. Did you guys hear that? Who? Yes. <laughs> Who's there? I mean, like maybe we should maybe we should just you know get out of this room and get out of the library like we were instructed to in All the right. first place. Oh, real quick, I've got a tear in my sleeve, so I'm just going to take this uh, spindle and thread here and um, <laughs> <laughs> reaches out and grabs it. Maybe, maybe not do that. <laughs> um, but, um, too late. The plot and then, moves like, forward. Me, so. Uh, as you grab the uh, uh, the spindle and thread, um, you 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 raise it and like to 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 you hold the needle up or one of the needles. There there are there are three needles. Um, oh. They're pretty long. They don't look. These look kind of too big to be like oh, maybe functional it's for sewing crochet. needles. <laughs> I don't need nothing crocheted. Um, but uh, as you do, you kind of catch this this the glint of the light, the gleam off the needles, um, that kind of, you lean back a second, um, uh, with the, the gleam from it. And, uh, as you do, the gleam doesn't go away. It kind of moves with your eyesight and kind of grows until no. your whole vision is glaring it. white. And then, uh, it kind of fades to black. Um, and uh you 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 are you and uh <laughs> journey as you're trying to convince minerva to put the needle down you notice uh you notice her eyes literally just fade away into empty sockets okay yeah, we're turning out the lights yeah i told you not to touch anything oh who who said that who um is that echo intentional um not for me but I, it's great <laughs> I, yeah i i don't have an echo for oh i'm getting an echo for, like only when she's saying who yeah <laughs> it's, very, it's very weird Really I'm using echolocation to sort of figure out where everything is luckily though owls do have really great hearing though yeah so. well, um, um well, uh, Journey is the person who told you to not touch anything, and then you touch something, and now your eyes are gone. So, <laughs> oh, like, um, they're not even in my head? head. Like, <laughs> no, if you have a little conga line and, like, follow me to the yeah. exit, that would be great. As you okay, reach, one, as one you reach up to feel your eyes, they are not, in fact, in your head. Your, your, your kind of fingers or talons kind of go into empty sockets. They're sort of feather fingers. I looked it up. So okay. like they're feathers, but they're shaped in like hands. So, okay. but they feel and they grip. Um, okay. So she's to me, hold on now. I got this covered. And she takes the glasses that she wears. Okay, right, I think I'm back. Also, yeah. I also never left the room, sort of. Yes. <clears throat> um, uh, she takes the glasses. Yeah, I, guess I, can push, I guess I can push the cart, but I mean, uh, I mean, um, you know, usually we don't, when we're evacuating, we don't take stuff with us. We just leave, so. Right, but. Belinda's think... looking for a pen or a quill right. or something she can write with. I think Echo is on the cart. E oh. Echo is in fact on the cart, still asleep. I'm gonna like look over. I'm gonna like reach over and just like pick Echo up, <laughs> like with my hand, gently like, or on, harshly. Go. Um, yeah, a little rough. Okay. It's not uh, particularly being careful. 
<laughs> really? She she doesn't wake up. <laughs> I'm just gonna like oh. continue to just like hold her in my fist. Real <laughs> quick. Okay, so let's leave. Let's leave. Re let's... Real quick though, did anyone else um have something weird happen to him just now? Like yes. in a shiny white light, we. Not a shiny white light. All right. Well, what what did you get? Well, my arm is gone, and oh, I that's suppose rough. that's it. That's not so no, bad. It, oh. It's been okay so far. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Belinda? <laughs> Melinda is still like just single mindedly looking for something to write with. In the dark where she can't see. I mean, right? didn't Belinda like lose her hearing? So. Or not hearing, she can't talk, right? right. Belinda can't talk now. So, I mean, <gasps> it sounds like something weird happened to everybody except me who didn't touch anything I wasn't supposed to. Okay, well, touch something. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Because so far I have all of my all of my senses intact as well as all of my limbs. So you know, I think I think, you know, for everybody's sake, maybe I should just not do that. Okay, well let's try and find Torin's arm and then we'll go. Oh okay. I, um, I, I think it might be gone gone. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what do you mean, gone, gone? It, it, it didn't. It didn't fall off. It disappeared. I don't think it is findable. And really, we should be making it toward the exit. <laughs> at this point, the, the clanking has been gradually getting louder. Um, at this point, those of you with dark vision, uh, Sans Minerva, um, yeah, can uh, uh, see figures outside the door starting to make their way towards the door. Oh god, what is it? What is that? Someone has to tell me what is going on. I start and just it's swiveling some, back it's just, and forth. it's just some figures that we're probably not gonna be able to fight, but you know Sorry, I start, like, like, just tearing there. through the cart. Like I'm just throwing things at the cart, like looking for a pen or quill or something. Go ahead and roll perception. Is everybody or oh, oh. Uh, just Belinda. This is not good. Is is that door the only door that I can see in this room? Yes. Six. Right, because I have minus four on wisdom. Yeah. Uh you, no luck finding a writing utensil. Is there Do is I there a lock? Huh? Do I wake up Echo? Because I'm like messing up the cart. Oh. No, I'm holding Echo in my oh, fist. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, just, hold her, okay. just like awkwardly. Um, is there a lock on the inside of the door? Like that doesn't need a key? Like just a, or does it need a key on the of the door? Um, the, the door does not appear to have any kind of lock on it. Okay. Which explains why uh, Journey did not have a key. Right. <clears throat> um, the, <laughs> the, uh, Oh no, I disconnected again. Oh, there. Well, there's Rachel. That's a weird lag where we could hear him say he's disconnected. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, I see everyone again. Um Yay. All right, so Yay. I'm trying to I'm trying to get your guys' character sheets updated so I can send them to you. So hang on. Uh, those of you okay, those I'll... of you who have, have done something to get you get yourself character sheets. The plot must go on. <laughs> Oh my god. Forget everything, let's do a Star Trek one shot. <laughs> I still want to do a one shot. With these same characters. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Suddenly you're all beamed you to a strange location. <laughs> you feel your bodies turn to energy as you're... <laughs> yeah, where we just like accidentally end up in an alternate dimension and we're just ourselves. Uh, so. <laughs> like... I was talking to a woman at work the other day because uh, they were all freaking out about like Google Cars some someday like uh, cars driving themselves and it's like oh I'm not so worried about that I'm actually really excited for teleportation to take place and then one of the women looks at me and says how would they do that and I looked at her and said if I knew I wouldn't be working here <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a scientist <laughs> like we can teleport we can teleport small particles kind of. I mean, I wouldn't want Star Trek teleportation because that's like, you know, a fax, only you shred the original. So. Yes, yeah, that right. is in like, fact how real teleportation works. Yep. <laughs> I don't want it. Uh, it's like the prestige. I'd rather yeah. Pokemon like technology. Like, we can all get put in, like a little transportation like thing where time is just suspended and then we're traveled. Yeah, good yeah. to work on that. Okay. Right, thanks. <laughs> we <We're> insurance. <laughs> I don't know shit about science. I spent all day doing algebra. That's why I was late. I was still doing algebra. All right, so I've now I'm both... thinking about how. Yeah. Continue, yeah. Rachel. Oh, I was just thinking about how. Uh... Those transport technologies would need to be insured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like a whole new type of traveler's insurance. That's right. All right uh, Good Char to know there's still work for me in the new regime. Charlene, oh, yeah. your, uh, I got it. Your, character sheet, uh, your character sheet has been sent to you. Okay, I'm opening it up. Okay, okay. Coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, people are losing their shit <sighs> over... What is this show? Something about tapes or remembering 13 tapes or something? I don't remember. Is 13 Reasons Why? Oh, 13 reasons I don't know anything. Oh, I read that, so I had to say this. And I know you all, each of you can sympathize with this in some way. But I read that book years ago. I told a bunch of, and I loved it, I told a bunch of people to read it. None of them read it. And now almost all of those same people are coming at me being like, have you seen the the series on Netflix? You should check it out. You'd really like this story. And I'm just like, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and oh, I, I did. I binged all of it. I, I recommend the audiobook is the best way to experience that particular story. However, the show is really good and really compelling. Uh, I actually forgot something on there for you, uh, Charlene, oh, sorry. Okay, never mind, I won't save it then. Alright, so hang on, I'm rolling, let's see, six... Seven, My students nine. love that book. Yeah, you told me that they did, yeah. A, and... a ton of them have read it and really love it. Oh. It's really good, I cried during the book, I cried during the show as well. Um, yeah, it's really good, I just... um. Some people. Like, have you have you heard of this? Yeah, I. You have two from me. Four years ago. All right. Yep, that's familiar. <laughs> I knew I knew you could sympathize. I knew all each and every one of us has probably experienced that. Yeah, I sure have. All right. Recent, this one includes your HP and AC. Great, 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 great. This is the one I will. Yeah, that's the one I want now. Save. Um, welcome to level one, by the way. Aha! Yeah, right, I'm having so... trouble saving. Hold on. Uh, okay, so for. I want desktop. Roya, you have. So that's going to be a plus Palomenia. two, three to hit uh, with a D6 plus one. Oh, wow. HP is so low. Yeah, welcome to level one. 
<laughs> you actually rolled pretty well, too. <laughs> no. All right, so, uh, Roya, um, you are a paladin. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so no, no, no. Okay, so this one. There we go. Yeah, okay. That's, oh, seven, eight, nine. Oh, you, you have just as much HP as... Our other, <laughs> the other character is made so hard. Okay, so AC is going to be, uh, uh, should be the same as well, so. Oh, no, 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 you've actually got one more because of your helmet. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, as you guys all turn around, except for Minerva, you see suddenly see a menacing figure with a skull on its face wielding a sickle standing <laughs> right in your face. Oh, good. <laughs> um so uh by the way charlene when you were describing your character design and described the glasses i mm -hmm. I, I knew <laughs> immediately you knew <laughs> you bastard also it was a toss-up whether i thought robbie or Alyssa was going to get to the or first but the fact that belinda is the one that can't speak is really funny <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like her whole character. What is she even going to do? Like... <laughs> oh, Robbie is gone. Pretty yeah, I noticed. Speak, but... um, all right, so. Well, no, that makes my joke cruel instead of just fun. <laughs> all right, so, so it's like I set it behind his back. Oh, Rachel's gone. Okay, there she is. Oh. Sorry, I was like, sorry, I didn't this lose is... Rachel. I only lost Robbie. Sorry, this is taking a second, guys. All right, so. Um... <laughs> Let's see, skills. So hot in my house right now. Mm. Yeah, same. Intimidation is plus. I also have a lot of cleaning to do, and that's going to make me like hotter and sweatier, so. Yeah, I got to do cleaning also. Uh, plus. I changed to my summer bedding. Do you guys want to see? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's take a look at this. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, oh so wow. cute. Where did you get that? I love that. Mod class. Yes. Before it became Walmart. Good. I was going to ask, but I didn't want to. No, no, no. I got it. it like three months ago. I've just been waiting. <laughs> waiting for summer. <clears throat> I have year yeah. round bedding. I just take blankets off because oh, I'm not sophisticated <laughs> like you, apparently. I I mean this is literally my first year doing it, so I just felt like you couldn't have you couldn't have like a white marine like submarine theme on your bed in winter. It's just not. It doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, nobody submarines yeah. in the winter. <laughs> okay, so my hand gives you one plus your Christmas modifier is going to be ten to yeah, I'm disappointed because I really wanted to pick up the ore, <laughs> and I'm also kind of happy that I didn't. So. Yeah. Well, you don't know what your like disability. Yeah, you don't know what your disability now. is going to be. Because uh, I'm not afraid to touch anything. There's there is still the there's still a dagger and a sword which you can inspect closer to kind of get details about if you want to look at them. Um, <laughs> Okay, so uh, just letting you guys know, um, some of these things, some of these features, abilities and stuff, you may have to Google real quick because I don't have all the details super typed out. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so that is Troya. I'm getting that sent to Rachel. Okay, and then Robbie. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the restroom. I'll be right back. Sure. That's a good idea. I am also gonna do that. Belinda yeah, same. Has <laughs> the or. Um. with the ferryman. <sighs> um, 
is so much. All right, so. Is it just one level one spell slot, or does it start at level two for warlocks? Uh, yeah, it's a level one spell slot. <clears throat> well, <laughs> that's that kind of sucks, but okay. Um, Arcana and investigation. And aside from that, you, uh, I mean, I guess technically it's a staff, so you can whack something with it, so I'll put that down. Um, okay, so you already have, okay, so, yep. <clears throat> okay, so that is... Plus oh shit. <laughs> you have Arcana invest and investigation skills, Robbie, which means you only have a minus two penalty to those. Oh my god. This is oh, Robbie's terrible. gone again. Alright, so um <laughs> All right, and then uh, also you get, uh, you can club things with your freaking ore. Basic. All right, so. Okay. I like how minimal yeah. Robbie's character list is. My character sheet. All right, so um, Linda, Robbie, your character sheet has been sent. Oh shoot! Never mind. I gotta give you your your freaking HP. Hang on. What's going on over there? You doing okay? I mean, it's just it's a lot to do really quick, um, like all at once. So hang on. So uh, it's five plus your constitution. Uh, which is zero, so your HP is five. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Robbie! Have a nice life, Belinda. Or a nice afterlife, as the case may be. Wow. Is this where it's revealed that, like, Robbie's character just dies immediately and then he has to quickly put together a new one who just shows up and it's like, Hi, I'm the new employee. This is my first day. All right, reset. And then it has your HP. The, the last thing we ever hear. <laughs> <laughs> we All don't right. know their name. We don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. All right, so. I mean, all right, so. Uh, you guys have the tools you need to all get out of this alive-ish. Um, oh, you're all gone again. Uh, okay. Right as I finish, you're all gone again. I'm online. No. I can has internet. So anytime there's a problem with the room, I just say like, hey, this is a problem room. And then he becomes obsessed. And then within about a day, he's like figured everything out. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah, it's really I, magical. I am back. And everyone who has character sheets right now has been sent them. Uh, you guys see two suits of armor coming to the room. They're moving kind of, like, jittery and unnaturally. Um, so... Uh, do, I do I detect evil? Um, 
yes. If if you want to use your defined sense. No, no, no. It says the presence of strong evil registers on your senses like a noxious odor and powerful good rings like heavenly music in your ears. But as an action, oh. I can open my awareness to detect. But it's inherently yeah. gonna yeah. like happen. Yeah, you 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 kind of you, you get a sense of 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 evil present. Um Yeah, so uh how about you guys roll initiative? Oh fuck. Woohoo. I think we need to get the fuck out of here. Nineteen. Ooh. Initiative is always the thing that I don't want to roll super high on and I always end up rolling pretty good. <laughs> Six. You guys are adding your dexterity bonuses, right? Nope. I don't think I have one because nope. my dex is only nine. Hold on. Um uh, my dexterity bonus is uh seven. Okay. Um, so I roll, so in all, all together, I roll, I, I have a 12, all together. Okay. Oh, let's see what they get. They get a 4 and a 9. Fuck. They get a can of whoop-ass is what they get. <laughs> Way too confident, guys, we're gonna die. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, this is not going to end well. <laughs> um, Robbie, go ahead and roll initiative. Also, for the record, carrot chips are significantly more difficult to eat than baby carrots are. I yeah no I agree. I agree. I bought them thinking that it would be like oh like they're cut differently, so it'll be like a different experience. It'll be more fun. <laughs> Shit up, right? You know what I mean? Like sometimes yeah. I just am bored with the food that I eat every week. No, you want to take a walk on the wild side. Right. I had a similar right. experience. I'm I disappointed <laughs> with the carrot chips. <laughs> Robbie? I tried slim fast um, <clears throat> and uh, and almost threw up. It was like a really upsetting experience. Is, is Robbie yeah. is Robbie frozen again? Robbie, um, yeah. Robbie. I feel like I hear him though. Well, that's just your heart. <laughs> oh no, he's not frozen. <laughs> Robbie, he gets to work. Oh yeah. Oh, oh can you hear me? I hear you now. Can you hear mm -hmm. me? Okay, I need you to roll initiative. 16. 16, okay. All right. So, um, top of the order is Journey. You guys know how you're- And we have these, like, figures that are like, coming at us, right? These, like- Some suits of armor that seem to be, yeah. like, moving kind of <laughs> jittery and unnaturally. Yeah, we'll go for these spells. I'm gonna, are. like, watch them for a second, and then I'm gonna, like, look- around the room and I see the sword and the dagger, but I'm also aware that like everybody who's touched something has gotten fucked. <laughs> I'm gonna like I'm gonna look and then I'm gonna look at them and I'm just gonna like let them keep getting closer and then I'm gonna look again and then I'm gonna do the like Tina Belcher like uh and, <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab the sword and I'm gonna take a swing. Like <laughs> all right. Um all right, so go ahead and roll a, roll your d20 while I, <laughs> while I get your character sheet. Put Two. <laughs> no! <laughs> um, that's that's going to miss. Uh, let's see. <laughs> no shit. Wait, um, she doesn't get, like, an interdimensional so experience where time freezes and she talks to a grim reaper? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> not not immediately. She does not seem to. Um, <laughs> Do you guys hear an Olive Garden playing? No. <laughs> oh, okay, is it just me? What window is playing an Olive Garden ad? Okay, found it. <laughs> <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> it's my it? god! The voice of my god is talking to me again, saying, go to Olive Garden. <laughs> Buy one, take one home. <laughs> when you're here, you're family. <laughs> What a what a welcoming deity. 
<laughs> I would love to go to Olive Garden and just eat a bunch of pasta right now, though. Oh my god, All right, same. so let's see. You've got that. Uh, that's... Okay, so now you're... Ah, okay. Sorry, so much stuff. So... All right, Are thanks. you doing a um, journey of sheet right now? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, well, right okay, so so the plus two um, makes your attack. I mean, your attack still misses, but uh, not by like a super awful. It, it certainly could be worse. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be another ten. Six plus your constitution, which is minus one, so you also have five HP. Wait, I have minus one constitution? Yeah. Yeah. What Fuck. you got down here? <clears throat> um, Damn it. That'll be a... <sighs> I hate everything. Cool. Okay. No. It's fine. It's fine. You're 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 probably you guys are probably fine. <laughs> um Alright, so uh Yeah, you take a swing, uh it goes wide. Um you do feel and every everyone feels this to some extent, but you okay, hey, first of all, uh fun fun question. Um are you one-handing this sword or two-handing it? One-handing. So you're you are still holding Echo in the other hand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, just making sure. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm aware that Echo is just like chilling in my fist, like <laughs> chilling in my fist. Uh, we'll Something see. really funny we'll about that if, sentence. If Echo. Um, <laughs> About halfway through your swing, you suddenly hear a startled, uh, I like it, in in your hand. You can hear that. Ah, what? What's going on? I'll cut you! Get get off me! And just like starts biting your your hand and like pounding on your fist, trying to get you to let her go. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's gonna be okay. So you get that. Okay, so, oh, wow. Suffice to say, at level one, you might be the strongest one, in spite of your five <laughs> HP. I love it. I'm into it. Okay, do we get to trade items, or are we just, like, stuck with these? Uh, you can find out after, <laughs> if you like. <laughs> Um, Let's deal with this later. <laughs> Alright, so uh, now we've got... Is, is that, is that all, you, all you can see right now? I think that's all you can see right now. No, 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 you get... Okay, great weapon fighting and second wind. You get those. <sighs> Weapon, fighting. <clears throat> All right, so I'll go ahead and send those to you now. This, uh, come on, open up. Stop being dumb. There we go. Uh, saved, and then send it. Boom. Oh. And Shoot. Something else. That we did. What'd you forget? Your skills. Uh, I mean, they might be they might be important, so I think that's that's a thing. Um, yeah, so okay. Um so that's right here. Drawing skills. Acrobatics is what well, is z plus zero. And your athletics is plus four. 
Okay. Now Fuck I yeah. Can, now I can send that to you. All right. So there we go. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, you, and like I said, you may need to Google a couple of those abilities real quick because. Okay. Right. So. Um, okay. So yeah, you 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 take that swing uh, and it it doesn't hit, but. Um, but it's very dramatic, and uh, you, have, you now have a Beautiful. you now have a screaming, freaking out pixie in your other hand. Uh, do you let her go, or do you still hold on to her? Um, I'm gonna like bring her very close to my face, and be like, "Echo, we're in some shit right now. I'm gonna put you down, but I need you to know that if I put you down, you're in the shit with us." And then, and then I'm just gonna like hold my fist out like way far in front of me and just like open up my fist and like let her go. All right, this will be considered a surprise round on her. Thirteen, so she will be in the initiative order as of next round. Okay, so uh, Belinda, you're up. Okay, how many armors are we fighting? Two. I guess my best bet is going to be um uh oh no okay yeah um chill touch yeah so I'm going to cast chill touch I guess on one of them all right. I have to make a ranged spell attack. Okay. And it's cantrip, so yeah. Okay, yeah, go for it. There we go. What skill am I using? Oh, uh, Wait, yeah, is this, it's, this is charisma. Charisma. Because, awesome. because you are a level one warlock. Cool. That's much better than 17. To okay, hit. that that will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Um, um a D. By the way, yes. uh Rachel, you are now a level one paladin. Uh Yay! Uh Charlene, you are now a level one rogue. And uh <laughs> Alyssa, you are now a level one fighter. Hell yeah. Also, I'm looking at, like, Woo-hoo. my character sheet, and I'm not mad about this. I rolled a five. Okay. That... Yeah. And it can't regain hit points until the start of my next turn. Very nice. And so if it's undead, it has disadvantage on attack rolls. Okay. Uh, so yeah, and you... the hand is kind of grabbing it right now. Yeah, so. a, a, like creepy undead hand like reaches up from the ground and and grabs it uh, like grabs at it and as it does like ice starts crystallizing along the side and uh uh seems to be like the armor cracks slightly um uh also i am gonna say um each of your guys's weapons uh or most of them you guys froze for me again Oh, Robbie's back. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, e- just so you know, each of your guys' weapons has something you can do with it. So if you want to, like, kind of spend an action just kind of doing a weapon thing, you're welcome to do what? that. But since you guys don't have the identify spell, you have no idea what your weapons do other than <laughs> be weapons. <clears throat> um... So, uh, next up is Minerva. Uh, Charlene, Charlene, are you talking? Charlene? Oh, we can't hear you. I can't can't hear you. Charlene. No, nothing. Oh, 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 there you go. There I you think go. I just heard. 
What? Speak again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got you. We got you. Yeah. I'm speaking now. Okay, yes. great. Yeah. I don't know what I didn't do anything different. Okay. okay. Um, I was wondering if because of my race, can we assume that I can at least hear where everything is? Because owls can like hear better than they can see usually. Um, yeah. You, any attacks you make will be at disadvantage for the moment, but uh, yeah. So, so how yeah. how you want to act okay. is up to you. <laughs> All right. Um, I've never been a rogue before. Um, it's fine. <laughs> it's good. So, yeah. <laughs> so right now, right now there is. Okay. Well, no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't really necessarily know that. So never mind. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. I'm just gonna slash at the um, guard. Whichever guard is nearest to me. Okay. So you kind of fumble. So it forward says talons. And... Proficient with unarmed scry strikes, which deal one d4 slashing damage. Okay, so you're using your talons, not your, not your dagger or your needles. No, I wouldn't know that they were weapons yet. Okay, so go ahead and take a slash. Okay. At, at disadvantage. And... Okay, so wait, you want me to roll d20 first? Yeah, roll d20 twice and take the lower okay. result. Okay. Seventeen, oh. and ten. So what do I add to that, Dex? Uh, yeah, that's, and that's, looks like it's going, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, that's, that's going to miss. You kind of come up and take a swing at it, and then and, uh, okay. you kind of just glance off the armor. Um, okay. Uh, do you have anything you can do as a bonus action? Not that I can see. Okay, so, um, okay. next up is... The armor you guys have been hitting, which is going to attack. I'll randomly determine. Uh, having been hit by, it's actually going to step right past you guys and go straight for Belinda. Um, as it moves past, uh, both of you two in melee with it can make advanced uh, attacks of opportunities if you would like. Wait, that's me, right? Yes. I'm in melee right now. Yes. I'm so it, you like and Minerva. Wait, what? You can t make an attack um, of opportunity against the armor as it walks past you. Okay. Um, am I still rolling at disadvantage? Yes. Okay. That includes my plus five to hit. What, what did you get? Um, eight total. Oh, yeah, that's gonna miss. <laughs> I rolled a 19 and then I rolled a 20. So. Very nice. That's, that's gonna hit. So go ahead and roll, uh, was it a d4? Plus, yeah. Plus your dexterity, so plus one. Okay, so let me plus one. And that's roll. Uh, okay, so total of three. All right. So yeah, you feel your your attack hit. Um, Troya, you're up. Um, okay, so I'm gonna swing a sickle at something. All right, go for it. The one guess, that the, the one that I they're attacking, they're or a different one? I guess the one they're attacking. Yeah. Oh right, no, sorry, it was attack. The sorry, hang on, the other one attacked Belinda and misses. <laughs> um. Okay. Three. I have a plus three to hit, so six. But that's, that's gonna, gonna miss. Okay. Well, welcome to fighting at level one. <laughs> the worst. Everyone sucks. <laughs> um. All right. So. Uh, at it's this nice point, not to be the only person whose rolls suck. The uh, really <laughs> the other armor is going to target. Uh, is going to go after Echo. Uh, it's going to take a swing, and that'll miss. Uh, it goes boom, and swings at her, uh, and she's she uh, instead of like shrinking back, zips right up to its face. It, like it, inside its hit hit box, like so it's armed too close, <laughs> and like it if 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 an armor could have a look of confusion on its face, it would. Um, Journey, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna kind of brace myself and like double hand the sword 
and take another swing at the one that I was trying for before. All right, go ahead and make an attack roll. Oh, I rolled a two, but I can re-roll that, right? Yeah. Okay. That's that's for damage rolls. Oh, fuck. Well, so, then so I rolled no. a two, so, seven, so, <laughs> so that's no. going to miss. You're going to miss. Keep fucking up. You're, you're just, like, too, <sighs> too panicked and confused by the whole situation. You're just like, ah! <laughs> and swinging. Um, yeah, no, basically. Belinda, you're up. Chill touch. All right, go ahead and roll uh, ranged spell attack. Fuck! That's a one. Uh, <laughs> that, that's gonna miss. Um, uh, so at this point, uh, Echo is going to zip out of uh, out of range. The armor takes another swing and misses. Uh, and then looking around the room, perception check. Uh, is going to see the dagger, zip over to it and grab it, uh, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> um, as soon as she grabs it, like went like goes from a look of like feral rage to kind of looking around, suddenly looking around, really confused. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and uh, that will be. Turn. Minerva, <laughs> you're up. Okay. Um. So let's see what else I've got that I can try here. Um. Uh. I right. This is level one. There's so little to fucking do here. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna um stab at the guards with my needles. All right, so yeah, reaching for something uh, for like something to attack with. About all you can find scrambling around is your needles, and you go ahead and take a take a stab. Uh, go ahead and roll for attack. Okay, fourteen and eighteen, so fourteen, right? Right. Um, Plus deck, fifteen. Fifteen to hit. Yeah. All right, that will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, do I add anything to that, or is that just? Uh, you add your dexterity. If. Okay. You know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, three. Okay. So three damage to it. Um, yeah. As as soon as you like, once you stab it, as you pull your hand back. Mhm. Mm your vision like springs to life, but you see yourself and it takes a second for you to realize a bad trip <laughs> you are seeing through its eyes what <clears throat> um um actually that's gonna be her reaction i'd like to use a bonus action <laughs> um <Whoa! laughs> uh you guys uh suddenly hear as um minerva just goes what in the middle of the fight for no okay. apparent reason. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god. It will then take yeah, this opportunity to swing at it's gonna attack Belinda again. That that is Mid. that is a twelve to hit, which will hit. Um so that is no, my AC is twelve. I know. That is two <sighs> bludgeoning damage. Two bludgeoning How damage. Much? Two. As it just smacks you with the cold no. iron. Oh. Uh, all right, so, uh, Troya, you're up. Um, I'm gonna try to, you know what, I'm gonna check out my weapon. Just, just what am I supposed see to what do it does? to see how it does? You're just kind of <laughs> yeah. paying attention to it, um, let's see exactly what yours. And I can move as a bonus action, right? Or no? No. You, you can move, period. Movement. You have 30 feet of movement per turn. Um, but right. if you wanted to dash, it would take your action. No, I don't, I don't need to dash. I just okay. want to, I want to spider climb. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you, you, you can do that just naturally because that's a thing you can do. Right. Um, yeah. So right. I want to, I want to end up roughly where I was, but on the ceiling. Sure. Um, <laughs> you, you do that. Um, so, uh, you... Uh, 
Um, y focusing on your weapon, yours does not appear to have its own special action, but I will not have that have taken your action, so you can still do something. Okay, so I can I'm up on the ceiling, and I can do something. Yes. Can I hit them from up on the ceiling? Sure. Okay, I, I will try to hit them. Uh, which one are you going for? The undamaged one or the one that everyone's been hitting? Uh, I'll go for the undamaged one. Okay. All right, go, yeah, go ahead and roll an attack. Oh. Uh, 16. Then my dex is 1, so 17. That'll... Oh, wait, plus 3 to hit, so 19. Hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay, so d6 plus 1. Uh, 6. Oh, nice. Um, so yeah, that, you get a, you get, you, you slash a pretty nice, like, like you, your, your slash cuts some of the like leather straps holding the armor together. So now part of it, part of one of its arms is kind of hanging loose. Um, I know, I know that feel. <laughs> uh, so next, <laughs> uh, all right, so next, it, that armor is now going to turn and attack you uh, because you hit it. And that, As you do. That is a nine to hit. I believe that misses. Um, so, yeah, my AC is 15. Yeah, so now uh, we're back to the top. Journey, you're up. Okay, I'm going to like take another swing at the one that's closest to me, which I think is the one that everybody's been like already hitting, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, 16. So 21 total? That'll, that'll hit. Fuck yeah. Go ahead, okay, go ahead and roll damage. I have a lot. Which hold for on. you is a lot. Yeah. Oh wait, that's not a d10. Hold on. <laughs> I rolled if a d8, Alyssa's but yeah. really, If Alyssa's really didn't take anything away from her, and it also is just like way more powerful than ours, that is very sad. I never I said mean, it didn't um, take anything away. Alright, let's see. Seven points of slashing damage and one point of necrotic damage. Alright, so uh, that so eight points to the armor. This thing's looking pretty rough. It's at this point it's like really like you, you hit it and you not only like cut part of the part of it, but you just like dent a hu huge chunk out of it. And uh, now it's just kind of hobbling. Uh, seems to be barely standing. Um, uh, Belinda, you're up. I want to know what my aura does. All right. Okay. <laughs> you use it, like, you kind of focus on it, and you see it's got some, like, worn carvings in it and whatever, and it's like you kind of see, feel like you, like, as you, like, focus on it, you hear the tide again, and suddenly, like, water seems to bubble up from the ground a little bit. Not a lot, but as it does this like black uh, stone structure rises from the ground from where the from the water the pool of water uh, and and there there is now there now appears to be a uh, a large archway in front of you okay I guess I go through it what? <laughs> do, do you want to do you want do you want to just move completely through it? Yeah, I don't fucking care. Okay. Um, as soon as you step through it, you are... You you just plunge into water. Um, uh, yeah. Rabbit. <laughs> so, we have like a good two and a half seconds. Okay. Actually... <laughs> Alright, so yeah, as you, as you uh, step through, you just plunge into water. Um... And, uh, I mean, luckily you have a big wooden oar for flotation, and so you kind of hold on to it for a second. Um, the gate's still right behind you, and you might be able to scramble back into it, uh, but as soon as you hit, you feel these hollow, spectral fingers reach up from the water and start grabbing you and starting to pull you down. Um, welcome to the River Styx. Go uh, ahead. Robbie, I hope you have a secondary character just <laughs> in the barrel. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a wisdom save. Why? Oh no. Oh no. I'll be right back, guys. 
think maybe that archery was more of a push your enemies through than go for yourself kind of thing. Um, well, it's not a natural one, but it is a one. <laughs> um, yeah, you just go catatonic in the water for this round. Uh, <laughs> Um, you guys can still see, like, through the gate, you see, like, this shimmering kind of, like, hologram image of Belinda suddenly stepping into waves and falling and just kind of floating there for a second. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, now it's Echo's turn. Um, <laughs> you uh, Echo's gonna go ahead and just go <laughs> and charge with the dagger uh, and stab at the one that uh, um, uh, Troya is attacking. That is an 18 to hit! Fuck nice. yeah! Um, so that is gonna be uh, we'll go with I mean dexterity because dexterity is ridiculous. So that's uh, five. That's um Or, so that's nine damage. As you see, the little pixie just goes ah! into the into the like like into the inside the helmet of the suit of armor. And you just see the little like dagger blade just go punk and punch out the other side. <laughs> um, the, the armor seems to still be moving, but it's uh, <laughs> it also like can't seem to hit the pixie that's now inside of it. Um. Minerva, you're up. Okay. Um, all right. Well, so I can see out of this thing's eyes, right? Yes. Okay. Um, it's disorienting, but it will allow your attacks to be made normally. Okay. Um, so I am fascinated with these needles now, so I'm going to stab them, keep stabbing them into this one guy. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, are you dual wielding them now, or are you just stabbing with one? Dual. Let's okay, dual so it. you can do an attack and a bonus act as a bonus action. You can stab with the other one, which has a decreased chance to hit, but it's better than not attacking. So yeah, go ahead and okay. roll, roll the first attack. I rolled a seven. Okay. Um, that Plus, is... Dex is eight. So okay, that's gonna miss. Go ahead and roll okay. with your second one, which will be. Oh, I rolled a twenty. Natural twenty. Oh, hey. Yeah. No, you don't. You don't have disadvantage, so that's that's good. Natural twenty is going to be a critical hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay, so you want me to use which dice to roll damage? It's four d d four plus one. Is that correct? So yeah, d four plus one, and then double the result. Okay, so um, d four plus one is going to be a two times two is four. Uh, yeah, that's uh, he had three HP left. So you just go thump with the the needle and uh, like with the first needle and miss the second one you swing and just like slice the bands holding its helmet on and you just send its helmet flying across the room and the rest of it just kind of crumples. Can I still see or yeah. is it dead and I can't uh, see as anymore? Soon, as soon as it dies, you can no longer see. Okay. Um. So uh, that one's gone. Uh, Troya, you're up. Um, I'm going to take another swing at the one that Echo is uh, invading, but I'm going to try not to hit it in the head because I don't want to hurt Echo. Right. Go ahead and make your attack. 19 plus 3 to hit, so 22. 22. Uh, actually, you you hear this, you hear the, the, the blood pulse in your head again, and you just hear, yes. And, uh, you, you swear you stab it in, like, you aim to stab it, like, in its back to try and avoid hitting, uh, try and avoid hitting Echo, but your hand just moves on its own and just whoosh, slices the, the, uh, the helmet, like, directly off. It falls on the ground, uh, as it does, um, like, tendrils of smoke kind of reach from your sickle and wrap around the helmet and just consume it. 
Oh, uh, no, I didn't want that to... I'm going to drop <laughs> um, down from... As, as it consumes the, the helmet, it leaves behind Echo, who is just, oh. like, now in the middle of nothing and very confused. Did I do any... Did I do any damage to the armor uh, guy, or...? Uh, y y your Vorpal Sickle insta-killed it. Because you got a oh. critical hit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Cool. So, so creepy... A little help, voice. guys. <laughs> um, so wait, so are both of the dudes dead now? Both of them are now dead. You are now yeah. in... In the room with... Uh, I am going to drop down from the ceiling, though. <laughs> so the menacing figure with the skull face wielding the sickle that just decapitated one of the armor things drops down in a three-point landing from the, <laughs> from the ceiling and then, like, stands tall again, um, uh, at which point Echo's going to immediately turn and level her dagger at you. And it's like, who the fuck are you? Who? Oh, uh, cool. is not cool. It's just, it's just me. Um, I, I was gonna carry both of these, but then I lost an arm, and so I only have one hand. So I thought, since that's head shaped, I should put it on my head. As she, as she gestures with her missing arm <laughs> to her head. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, <laughs> There's... Also, is any is anyone gonna get Belinda? <laughs> she, um... is she. Yeah, how I I'm not sure I'm not sure how to do that, but uh... we should probably try. <laughs> where where is Belinda? Could someone? She's in the 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 water inside <laughs> of. The... <laughs> Wait, is there water now? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look at least it not. It's not exactly water, but it's okay, kind of water. Okay, give me a word picture, Journey. <laughs> okay, so there was. Uh, Trina is just gonna go to the archway <laughs> while this is happening, and she's she's just gonna like kind of stick her sickle under her arm, and then she's gonna reach in her other hand, like her her hand. I guess I don't need to say sure. other. And she's just going to, <laughs> and she's gonna like plunge it into the archway and sure. try to grab for the ore or for Belinda. Belinda, go ahead and make another wisdom save real quick. Oh no! Uh, in well, order. I'm gonna like look. I'm gonna look back at uh at Minnie and oh. I'm gonna be like, um, she went through through a magic door and fell into water, and we can see the water, but she's not really here. <sighs> I'm not real sure oh, what to do. Oh no, I think I've got I think I've got we work in an interdimensional you, library. I think I've got it. Troya, as you reach in, um Belinda's catatonic body has just been pulled like significantly at this point beneath the surface of the water. Um the with like still holding the oar. Still holding the ore, and the ore like seems to be trying to surface because it's made of wood. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a it's a little bit of a Titanic moment with Belinda's like just sinking <laughs> into the water. Oh. Um, except her eyes are just open and staring blankly. Uh, and actually, at this at this point, um, ah, I cut out again. Nah. All right, I'm back. Okay, I see right. you. So uh, as yeah. as Belinda is sinking, uh, her form suddenly just kind of turns blank. Uh, the the look on her face, everything just kind of turns into this like placid white, um, uh, and like to the point where her face almost looks like just this blank mask at this point. Um, uh, so can I reach the ore or not? You, you uh, go ahead and make, you, you reach it, go ahead and make a wisdom save. Um, 
So I have 19 plus four, so 23. Yeah, you don't even notice. All right. you, just, you just you just reach in the water. <laughs> you like you, your just immediate thought is, can Belinda not swim? And you just reach in the water. I mean, water makes you like large bodies of water like this makes you uncomfortable. Right. <clears throat> but you, I'm, like, I'm not wild about it. Yeah, so you just kind of like and reach in and grab the uh, the oar and just pull. Well, it, is it running water or is it like because it's a river, right? I yeah. <sighs> Okay, yeah, so I'm really uncomfortable. You're so, like, really uncomfortable. Out. Yeah, it's super schemed okay. out. And you, you pull uh, and uh, go ahead and make a strength check. Um, seven? Uh, it takes a bit. You're kind of like... And pull Belinda up and th back through the gate. Belinda is now soaked. Uh your her form still appears very plain and like 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 still maybe humanoid but like the face is almost like just featureless um also uh uh go ahead and roll perception okay Sorry, I was doing something else. Um, what do I add? Wisdom? Yeah. Nine? All right, anyone else who wants to is welcome to. I guess I will. Oh, I rolled a three. So. Hold on. I'm I not helping. It's wisdom? Yeah. Uh, 21. Okay, I'm shooting you a message. Okay. Um. <clears throat> All right. So, um, would lay on hands? <laughs> would lay on hands do anything? Yeah. If you want to give it a shot. Okay. So I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do that. Uh. Yeah. So, how many points what do, I need to do? do you want to? You've got five points of health. You can distribute when you do lay on hands. Uh, how, how much health would you like to give? Oh, um... I mean, I, I took know. two damage. So I guess two. Okay. Um, you, you actually, uh, at this point, were at zero HP as the river oh. steals your... <laughs> steals your, your, your soul, let me know. Um, so yeah, you're, you're now at two HP. Uh, you kind of come coughing and sputtering back to life. Um... Wait, but what happened to Belinda? <laughs> um, I'm going to cast Minor Illusion. I'm going to cast Minor Illusion, and you don't... Oh, shit, I do. Um, I, I want to change back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, like, what? There's, there's a moment as there's, like, and the body seems to shift just a little, and suddenly, and, like, Belinda has... Belinda's like the the color comes back to her cheeks and she kind of like the, the features kind of shape again and she looks more like herself. Okay, I cast minor illusion and my lips don't move, but you do hear my voice go, <laughs> Oh my god, that was terrifying. Did you guys save me? Oh my god, I did was so cold and like wet and you know I don't do well in the cold. You know that. That's why I love my sweater. We I yeah, we do know that. She did mention it before. I just was looking at my oar and then I made like, I don't know, just a giant arch appear and I went through the arch and then I just said uh, there were these little spectral hands and they pulled me under and then I don't remember anything. Okay. Are you aware that when you came back through, you looked like a dude? <laughs> Um, try, 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 try it. Try it. It's gonna kind of lean over toward Journey and say, "You can't just tell people that they look like dudes." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I look like can a dude. Someone, can someone just tell me visually what's happening, please. <laughs> 
My bad, my bad, Belinda. Like uh, I just meant that it looks like. I don't want to look like a dude. I'm Belinda. I just want to look like a dude. I'm sorry. Like a, to me, Belinda. I'm sorry. That's because you can't see anything. I'm sure. Sorry. I'm trying to help. Listen, I just meant that it looked like whatever thing happened to you on the other side of the door that it changed your appearance. And it turned me into a dude. I don't know with that. I mean, it, it, it's what it's what you feel inside, Belinda. It's not about what you look like. I don't understand why I can't speak. Uh, I really, really would like to know what's happening. Please. Um. So you remember how I told you that Belinda went through a magic door and into some water and we didn't... Okay. Right, yeah, no, that's supposed to happen literally. I'm with you. Yeah. Then Troya reached in and pulled her back, but then it didn't look like Belinda, and Belinda's still not really like her mouth isn't moving, but she's making noise. And I'm okay, getting so, as well. All right, so does she look like herself, or does she look like um, someone else right now? Okay, so, like, also, like, I'm super thankful that you, like, saved me and stuff, but also, like, I still feel kind of, like, hurt, like, a little over halfway to dead hurt. <laughs> like, if... if... Uh, um, okay, Wait. so I guess Troy is gonna lay on hands again and use up the rest of her HP pool in order to okay. give Belinda back the rest <laughs> of her stuff. Thank you so much, well, Troya, Troya, thank you so much. By the way, oh. that... That hat looks so good on you. I love the statement you're making. Oh, does so she Thank got a you. hat? Um, actually, it's more like a mask, and it makes her look like a skeleton. But that's, you know, beside <laughs> the point. Yeah, it's so chic. I love it. <laughs> okay. Does anyone want to trade needles? I mean, at this point, you notice Echo still oh. on the other side of the room, just holding the dagger out, like aimed at you guys. Looking Echo. Around, really. Okay. Um, Echo. Who's gonna let me stab him with a needle so I can what see through the, their eyes? Let's not do that. Um, <laughs> oh, I'll see how it is. That's fine. <laughs> this is killing my buzz, y'all. Um, um so Troya, Troya's gonna say we should make our way to the exit. I think that's a good idea. Oh my god, yeah, we have to get out of here. All right, um, can someone, I don't know, take me by the hand? Lead me to the promised land? Troya says, I would, but, and then she waves her stump. <laughs> right, oh, right. I can feel that you're waving something. I assume it's your missing All right, lips. so here's the plan. Here's the plan, Belinda. You're going to grab yourself around Troya's, um, what's left of her arm. You're going to hold on to that. Um, Minnie, you're gonna you're gonna come with me. You're gonna I will Great. I will leave you because you can't see anything. Um, right? No, we know Echo, you don't have to Echo, keep mention that. Echo, if you're coming, you're coming now. We're getting the fuck out of here. Why am I holding on to Treya's arm? Because you're not gonna be able to see anything when we go out in the dark. We already went through this once today. Oh my god, that is so thoughtful of you. You're exactly right. I cannot see anything. It is so dark. Let me tell you guys, you don't even know, like, until you cannot see, right, you don't even Belinda. know. Why. Belinda, we're going to need to be quiet to get out of here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you not see right now? Because it's a little dark. Can you oh not god, see? Because it's a little don't even know. dark, it is right, dark now. right now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Belinda. Is it. Dark in here for you. Is it too dark? Shut up. <laughs> we the, have any hope at this point, the, the gate, the archway just slowly sinks back into the water. All right. I'm going to need everybody Belinda. to be as quiet as possible while we're Absolutely. out there. I mean, yeah, I'll, you won't even hear anything from me, I promise. Like, first, you know how quiet first. I can be. To be fair, technically, first, if oh, you're not the target of the, of, of the minor illusion, it can't be heard. So, uh. like, technically Belinda's not making noise talking. <laughs> Alright, um, Belinda, just before illusion. we go anywhere. Oh, that's right. Before we go anywhere, I just want to say real quick, I'm sorry for yelling. I'm a little freaked out. 
And also, fuck you. I'm blind. <laughs> okay, we can go. <laughs> All right, great. And I'm gonna like lead everybody like out and towards the nearest exit. It's so dark. You have no idea. Echo, Echo hesitantly <laughs> follows at a very healthy distance. <laughs> Why do you think those armor were attacking us? Like, do you think there's gonna be more armor? Oh my god! Shut the fuck up! No, yeah, like I... I get it. no, like it's fine. Yeah, we can't make any noise. But also, like, I'm super freaking out because that armor just tried to kill us. And also, you guys, like, two months ago, I was like dating a guy, right? Like, do you guys remember that? I'm sure I told you all about that guy I was dating. Um, I remember, yeah. Saying anything like, about him, like, yeah. well, you said he fucked like a jackhammer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm not trying to be that guy right now, but I need everybody to shut the fuck up. Right, no, like, I get it, but also, oh like, I, I didn't tell anyone I was, like, pregnant or anything, right? Like, that didn't, that definitely didn't happen, right? Like, no one remembers that? I really just remember the jockhammer thing. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I would have what been able to him? hear the baby's heartbeat. <laughs> okay, so I, <laughs> so I definitely like wasn't pregnant then. No. <laughs> oh. You All right. Well, glad that's been like... resolved. So let's uh, let's keep moving. <laughs> uh -huh. Um. All right, well. So do you think our injuries, do you think they're covered by like workman's comp or something? Cause like, I can't see now in the counter, <sighs> Torrens don't lost one of our arms. Like, do you think we're gonna be compensated? Uh, this happens on the job. Pro probably <laughs> not. Um... Yeah, like, oh, journey. I feel like not being able to talk severely impacts like how well I can do my job. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think, you know, this environment isn't really that good to um, non-abled sort of workers. Yeah, you know? like, so I don't... not people like us, we need, like, compensation. Yeah. Journey. Yeah, so what, am I just going to yeah. have to shelve only Braille books now? You notice uh, the the wound you made on, or, like, yeah, as you hit the, uh, the armor, <clears throat> um, like pieces of metal kind of stuck to your blade which this blade is like a long blade that's made of like almost glass it's like volcanic glass um okay it's really intricately carved uh the metal seems to have like liquefied and kind of run down the end of the blade and gradually kind of turned black going across the black glass um okay uh and it as it like dribbled down there's like a groove cut along the blade that goes down into the hilt that lets the liquid dribble onto your hand. Um, okay. So now there's this kind of blackish silver stain on your hand. Cool. Did anyone else hear that? No. Oh. What did you, what did you hear? I heard like a boom. Yeah, I think someone just drove by someone's. Oh. <laughs> It was really dramatic. It was fitting too. I like it. Um, also, yeah, like, I'm gonna like examine my hand a little bit, but I'm not gonna say anything to anybody. Yeah. Like, as you're looking at it, the 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 stain seems to have like kind of like you wipe as you kind of try to wipe some of it off. It seems to have kind of gotten under your skin, and seem and some of it seems to kind of slightly be like swirling, almost making like designs on the fringes as it's like slowly spreading. Okay. <clears throat> um, so let's see, you are now, okay, let's see, uh, as, okay, so your, okay, constitution, so what is, what is your constitution? I gotta look it up. Nine. Oh, okay. It's not time to eat yet. Um, you still got like an hour. Uh, time yet? It's not time yet. 
Um, <clears throat> all right, and I'm sending you a message, Alyssa. Oh, Christ. Okay. I'm gonna go to the restroom. But what? I'll... Uh, okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um. All right. This so... is gonna be great. I can tell. All right, uh, and that's going to be, oh, <clears throat> another message to you, Alyssa. Ha! I'm not mad about that. Good. Well, the sec <laughs> the second bit anyway. <laughs> Right. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, Rachel, I'm getting ready to send you something. Um, all right, so I gotta pull together. You. Windows, stop doing things I don't want you to do. <laughs> Losing battle, my Windows, friend. Windows, doing things you don't want it to do since 1995. <laughs> Alright, um... Oh, man. Uh... Oh yeah, Rachel, you've heard about um, uh, the Mother Stark being in the Star series, The White Princess, right? The yeah, it's exciting. Love her. <laughs> She's a treasure. The best. All right, message sent. And the other one that met your hidden requirement during that fight was Charlene. <clears throat> so <sighs> you Oh, I forgot to give you uh, Fuck. uh okay so uh six, seven, uh yay uh rachel you also what's that i'm sending you another thing i forgot Right. Is it about my HP yep. not being? <laughs> yeah. Oh, did we all level up? Uh, not all. <laughs> but yes, some did. <clears throat> you all have like a secret thing that if you do it, you'll get a level. Mm. But I'm not telling you what it is. It's different for really? each. Of, it's different for each of you. I'll tell you that. Mm. We get a level if we do a thing. Yes. Ow! But it's secret, apparently. <laughs> um, so, uh, Charlene, you get... Uh, and that's the eight, so... 
Um, Minerva, five tools. <coughs> Use me. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Yay. Yeah, I'll okay. edit some things. So, um, from here, uh, oh, wait. Uh, actually, if I remember correctly, Echo might have too. <laughs> I'm just, okay, for this fight, because technically, because even, because technically you also met yours, Robbie, just like it was kind of on a weird technicality. I'm going to give it to you this time uh, because everyone else yes. was so leveled up. Going through the gate, right? Yeah, yeah, things going through the gate, but you came back, so <laughs> it kind of didn't count. But <clears throat> also it was yourself. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not going to let you like exploit that repeatedly, but... I'll give it to you this time because everyone else also leveled up. Uh, <laughs> so, um, we can keep doing it. Yeah, it's how you love. This is how you will level up in this campaign. Oh my god! I just have to push bitches into my gate. <laughs> oh yes. Um. So, uh. Shit. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So, Robbie, you're going to gain. Okay. There you go. And uh, HP, that's going to be a D8. That's plus your constitution, which is not the plus, I don't think. No. Uh, so that's. And then finally, Echo, who is. <clears throat> you guys can continue uh, role playing as you walk if you would like. <laughs> Walking and role playing is our MO, after all. <laughs> right. right. Um, I don't really remember where we were, though. So when I stabbed that guy with my needles, I could see like through his eyes. And could I you, wish like, that him and the, stuff? Yeah, well like I wish like the world could be like that. Like you, you know, you could just like stab people and like know them, you know? It's like they say like I must know my enemy to defeat him and in that moment I love him. It's a, very, it's a very intimate act, stabbing somebody. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're so, like, right and stuff, but also, could you, like, control him? Mm, I did not try, but I think probably no. Oh my god, I I'm gonna say, if visual. I stab someone and completely see through their eyes, I totally try and control them. That sounds like the shit. Okay, well, I, right. I could like, what, maybe if somebody here would let me put a needle in them, just like real soft, like, <laughs> and we could try it. <laughs> yeah, not it. Echo still no, hanging back, holding you. a dagger, like out. <laughs> um, Echo. So that's that's no one volunteers then. That's fine. That's fine. You do you doing okay back there? Uh roll persuasion. Nine. She's eyeing you warily and just kinda gives a nervous glance around like Where the hell are we? 
Um, in the library. Uh, what library? The one that we work at. She's still eyeing you warily. Do you, do you, how, you don't know where we are? She shakes her head. Do, do you, you know, know who we are? Okay, I yeah, think. She shakes her head. Do you know who you are? She shrugs. Okay, you're Echo. You're what kind did of she natural. say? <laughs> um, hey. I mean, you just, you like to pick fights. You get a little mad sometimes. It's well, fine. Don't tell her that. This is a time to sort of... But, uh, but you're a little... I don't know. Fairy thing, I don't know. Um, but you work here with us, and um, you. Uh... Oh my god, we're like best friends. I remember this one time you like tried to cut my tongue out or something. It was so cute. Like I know you meant it. Like like we're pals. Like we can talk like that to each other. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you did mean it like that. But that's not the point. The point is that we worked together for a while, um, and we just killed um two dudes two empty suits of armor that were attacking us so okay <laughs> i mean we helped you we didn't kill you so i think that says that you can trust us even if you don't know who we are <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck she kind of roll persuasion again with advantage uh, since they're kind of helping <laughs> I rolled a two and a three. So, oh. <laughs> seven. She kind of gestures with the blade for you guys to keep walking. <laughs> I'm just gonna nod and just like continue on my way. <laughs> I'm like done at this point. Yep. <clears throat> so, uh, as you guys, you guys continue on for a bit, um, do you, well... None of you used... I mean, the only one of you who had spell slots didn't use them. And you're all at full HP? Question mark? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do yeah. we get, like, when we level up, do we get our HP to fill up to the full? Yeah. It, yeah, you, you'll gain at least... However much your HP went up by, you'll gain that much. So yeah. if, you're, if you were at full, you're still at full. Yeah. Um... So yeah, you guys uh, um, kind of keep going on for a bit. Uh, as you guys kind of get back to where you were, um, wait, like wait before you went to start putting the books away, um, are you still bringing the cart, the book cart with you, uh, Troya? Uh, I can't push it, so. <laughs> so no, okay. If not, if no one else is, then no. Okay. <laughs> I would not have pushed it, no. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, I can't see, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. May or, may or may not be significant. Um, you guys, uh, get to the, get to where you were, um, uh, and you see the bodies of, like, quite a few people just kind of lying around the, the kind of library office area. Uh, well, uh, I, uh, I smell dead. Do oh my God, are they like, dead? Can I tell well, you? If you smell correct. Ian, are they are they dead dead or are they just like passed out? Um, you yeah. You, if you want to go check, uh, what's what skills do you have? I don't know. I assume as a dampier, I can like tell if something's drinkable or no. I mean, you could drink and find out. Yeah, but I don't want to drink a dead man's blood. <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> um, yeah, you do have medicine, so go ahead and roll. Uh, roll and add three. Roll d twenty and add three. Uh, 18? Uh, they're all dead. Um, you do, while overlooking I, at I'm one gonna... of them, while overlooking at one of them, I'm... though, roll perception. Oh, shit. Uh, 11? I mean, yeah, you're, you're, like, kneeling over it and checking the pulse and everything. And, like, you, you know this person? And it takes you a split second to place it. Because it doesn't quite make sense that this person's body is here. Uh, you are you you're. I'm gonna shoot you a message. 
Is it what I think it is? Maybe. I don't. This is actually um, the first time Rachel and I individually made backstories and didn't include each other at all. So I feel <laughs> what you guys just feel all the time. Um... Okay. So, Ian, I actually have never played a warlock, so how do these invocations work? <clears throat> They're just free abilities you get. Uh, you've got... So... Armor of Shadows, so at will, you can just conjure magical armor. Uh, and uh, Eyes of the Room Keeper uh, lets you read any writing. I'm, I'm going, I'm going to um, straighten That's up from the body. And I'm going to uh, turn and look at Belinda. And I'm going to kind of make significant, like, eyes like give give a very significant expression and then i'm going to kind of like twitch my head like okay get over here the person wearing a skull mask stands up turns around you stands there for a second with no apparent like movement because the face is under the skull mask and then it's head, and then its head twitches as if trying to indicate something um. i'm going to I'm gonna like point. I'm gonna try. Like my stub is gonna twitch, and then I'm gonna be like, Ugh. and then I'm gonna like point the side at Belinda, <laughs> and then like do the head twitch again. Super creepy. And What's going on? Why are we all quiet? I don't. Um. So. Ian. Um, Trey. Yeah. Trey. Trey is just making gestures with her stump. Um. I'm not real. I'm not real sure what. Did you need something, Treya? Like, what's going on? Just, I just wanted to speak with Belinda for a moment. Oh, that shouldn't be hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Minnie means these in the most loving way. <laughs> uh, I was like reading something. What happened? What's going on? Oh, Would you God. come come over here? Would you please come over here? Just Belinda. <laughs> Oh my god, what is a do you need something? Do you need help with anything? Is is Belinda coming over here? Yeah, Belinda goes over. Um Tr Troya is going to and having never read a Christmas Carol is not going to realize how much this is like the ghost of uh, Christmas future <laughs> moment. It's going to point, point with the size down at the body. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Belinda, you, you look down at the body, um, which I'll message you the thing. Yours was the body. <laughs> oh my god, that bitch! <laughs> Why the fuck is she here? Why the fuck? No! No! You're supposed to come, and you're supposed to come back and I was supposed to be here for a little bit but it's been two months and it's been too long and I'm gonna die and I've got a stupid oar and I fell into a river and it was like a sticky river and it pulled me down and it was all for nothing you stupid bitch and she kicked the body. I'm confused as to why we're um, not moving. What, 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 Belinda, what's wrong? Belinda's fucking dead. What, then oh. who, who are you if you are not Belinda. No, I think she means like in a spiritual way. Like we've all died a little bit and like lost ourselves a little bit. I'm Belinda's cousin. Oh no, yeah. that's different from what I thought. <laughs> what do you... <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean you're Belinda's cousin? I was doing... Have you always been Belinda's cousin? Because you're the, you've been with us the whole time. <laughs> yes, I've always been Belinda's cousin. You don't, like, magically become someone's cousin for no fucking reason. Then what well, What I'm happened to Belinda? I don't fucking know. She was she needed to be some time off of work. And so I, just, I said I would cover for her. And I came and then it was, like, it was supposed to be for, like, a couple of weeks. It's been, like, two fucking months. I was trying to figure out what happened to her. But now she's fucking okay. dead. Are you like Are... twin cousins? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a twin cousin. No, we're not twin cousins. 
Oh, it did not want Disney to an original movie. Hold on, would I know what I think that I know? Roll intelligence. No, my intelligence is not good. <laughs> can, I, can I roll intelligence? Sure. Can I roll intelligence? Sure. I have pretty good intelligence. Okay. I rolled a 10 plus 3 is 13. 15? Um... Yeah, uh, the 15, uh, there are magical ways to change your shape, you know that? Like, that's pretty, that makes sense. So I'm just going to turn to the others and say, there are magical ways to change your shape. <laughs> yeah, but for two months, isn't that a long time? <laughs> Wait, so you've been pretending to be, you've been pretending to be Belinda the whole time. Yeah, I think that's pretty obvious at this point. Okay, well, that's a pretty sleazy way to get out of spent in vacation days. Just Fucking so right? Know. She's such a bitch. Oh, I don't like her. I like you, though. All right, so what is... <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> I'm gay. Your, your name is gay. Yeah, that's my name. What a little gay. <laughs> that's 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 his name. Can I can we talk about how many times I I've mean, almost called you gay me. this whole time that because it's your, on your character <laughs> Listen, I don't know. I just said Wait, what? What's going on? <laughs> what did Ian just say? I missed oh. Ian and Robbie. I was just time. saying out of character uh, how many times this session I've almost called Robbie by the name gay uh, <laughs> because it's what's on his character sheet. <laughs> I think, I think right. we all would have been very offended. <laughs> really? Usually I'm the person who has, like, multiple names for their character, so... <laughs> it's fine. This is new. Um, We're all stepping out of our element. <laughs> right. Okay, so, Gay, um... Okay. Um, so did you... Did I... But why is Belinda here, then? <sighs> Why are any of us here? I mean, that's a great question. We can certainly have that conversation, you know, later when we have more time to, you know, ponder um, the deeper questions in life and we're not, you know, in immediate life-threatening danger, but... I look forward to that. Yeah. Um, but right now, I'm, I'm a little... I would just like to know what... Oh. Uh, what? Can I go ahead and have you guys all roll stealth checks real quick? Oh, is Robbie frozen? Is that yeah. why he's not answering? Yeah, that's why he's not Okay. Answering. I just thought he was, like, taking a really long time to answer. Okay. Um, what um, we... Do you add Dex now? Yes. Okay, uh, in all, I have 10. 11. 16. Hey, kitty. Yeah, you. Oh. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> My cat's the best. Oh, I want one. Get one! Alright, let's take a look at Cobalt Fight Club so I can see if this fight is fair. Then we could all, um, then we could all play a one-shot where we're each our cat. Rachel's got two, so she can share look, with Robbie. Look, I'm not going to lie. I have a lot of ideas for one-shots that I'm trying to suppress at the moment because I want to <laughs> spread them out. I sincerely <laughs> had a great... I had a, wonderful, I had a wonderful idea for a one-shot where we're all playing uh, um, freaking sprites from the tribe that worships Jolie and are all trying to like go help her on a mission or something. Amazing. <laughs> I definitely want to bring them back. Yes, because I love them. There's Robbie. I, to be honest, I was so excited to go back to the Feywild for exactly that reason. <laughs> okay, so Alyssa was asking Gay. Yeah, I was trying to figure out why Belinda is here. And we if you've been filling in for Belinda. 
Listen, I don't fucking know because she was supposed to come back and then she never did. And I was that's why I was asking you guys like okay, months ago. How- like, did I say anything weird to you? Like, was I fucking pregnant? Less than you, she was running off with some guy to have like a vacation and then she never came back. And I don't know why she'd be here at all and not tell me about that. She, right. Oh, you know, we don't offer a very good maternity leave plan. I'm not surprised that she faked leaving. But 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 she wasn't even pregnant because the damn peer said that she wasn't pregnant. Yeah. Got it. Um, <laughs> well, that's not going to be a problem that we're going to have to worry about anymore. So... The problem I do worry about, though, is that we evidently are now referring to people by our races. I wonder if maybe that could be a little tokenizing and instead (laughs) we could all just use names. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Trey. Um... Listen, I'm so just under a lot of stress. I've only known you guys for like two months. This is not really very long. It's not like I'm like super close with you guys or anything. I mean, yeah, we talk about stuff together and stuff. We work on stuff. We put books okay away and stuff. And like, I know that you like are super mysterious and you don't even like okay, talking about. Okay, 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 okay. I don't so, think I'm not mysterious. Here, so let's let's do something that maybe <laughs> will help you. Maybe will help you feel better about this. Okay, how about we all go around in a circle and we say a fun fact about ourselves or fun. Funner game, we all get out of here. <laughs> right, but I think we could do both of those things. Okay, let's walk and talk. Walk and talk. <laughs> Great, so I'll go first. Um, <laughs> my name is Journey, um, and I've been here for a while. And um, fun fact about me is that I still don't know what all of the keys that I have go to. <laughs> Uh, who wants to go next? Troya, did you want to go next? Um, my name is Troya, and I, I, um, one of my parents was a vampire. <laughs> okay, this is going well. <laughs> Great. All right. So, Gay, did you wanna? Did you wanna take a turn? Um. Um. <laughs> I guess my name's Gay, and um, I mean, I'm Belinda's cousin, mm-hmm. and oh my god, she's fucking dead. I guess I don't need to like look like her anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna like revert to my form. Yeah, you you drop you drop your uh, um, humanoid polymorph uh, and turn back into the blank face uh, male body. <laughs> Uh, what you see before you is um, is a changeling. So what happened? What happened just now? Um, Gay just stopped looking like Belinda and hmm. looks like um, whatever he is. <laughs> okay, so it's male now. What are your pronouns, Gay? They. Thank you very much. All right, all right, got it, got it. We're all using neutral plurals. Gotcha. All right. Oh, my name is Minerva. I prefer to go by Mini. And um, I am. Oh, fun fact about me: I worship the goddess Athena, um, of wisdom and war. Um, and uh, oh, another fun fact: uh, I swallow things whole and then digest them and then vomit up like a pellet of stuff that was undigestible. Thanks, Mini. Right. We've all had lunch breaks with you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was wondering why you guys always sit so far away. Is that not, I mean, when do you guys, like, how do you, can you just digest everything? No, I mean, we just, we chew stuff. And then after we chew I, it. I, then... I don't chew things. I just I... drink them. Oh, so you're on right. like one of them liquid diets. Sort of. Um, um, yeah. You guys, at th- this point, you're, you're kind of going through some, like, lines of <laughs> oh. books, of uh, shelves, and you do hear some sounds uh, as something kind, hear of, a like, something kind of lands on top of the one of the bookshelves and looks down at you guys and just kind of goes, and kind of holds Ooh. what looks like a spear out towards you. Who? Who? I'm gonna um, immediately like draw my sword, like be on the ready. 
Who's there? Who? Um. <clears throat> let's go ahead. And Is Robbie frozen again? No, I'm here. Oh, but thank God. We're uh, very. Still. Yeah, <laughs> it, it it succeeds at that perception check. Looks just it just kind of looks right down at you guys and goes and kind of like uh, goes for a dive bomb. Uh, go ahead and roll initiative. Great. Uh, I rolled a 17. Do I add anything to that? Uh, your dexterity. Okay, so plus one. So, 18. <laughs> Can we take a bathroom Two. break? Uh, you, you are welcome to run to the bathroom, yeah. Okay, except for me to get this set up. Uh, okay, so I got Charlene's. Uh, who else had theirs? 13. Two. 13. Okay, two. Troy is a two. Journey's a 13. Echo is a natural 20. They, um... <laughs> Putting, which actually puts her at 25. Oh, dang. Okay. Six. Six. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. Okay, so then the... Yeah. All right. <clears throat> um, so yeah, uh, we start the round off with Echo. Um, he's gonna go ahead and just go <laughs> and fly straight up and make an attack. Um, okay, what I miss? Echo's attacking. Okay. Um, uh, so that is a uh, 13. That'll hit. So that's going to be um, oh my God. five, six, seven, eight damage to the thing. <laughs> freaking, the freaking pixie's cracking me up. Just like thump. <laughs> stabbing things uh so yeah that works um next up is uh minerva okay um so uh yeah i want to stab this thing with my needles so i can fucking see <laughs> so i try to stab it i rolled a five oh. <clears throat> um right well also uh so okay so yeah y you try to stab it um, from where you hear it, but it seems to be farther up than you thought and can Damn. easily reach. Um, so, okay. uh, the, the, the reason the, the reason, uh, Echo could get it is cause she can fly. <clears throat> um, so, uh, Journey, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make an attempt to swing my sword at it. Try okay. to like pinata it out of the air. Ooh. Uh, go ahead and attack at disadvantage just because it's okay. it's really high. I mean, it's high up enough that it's really difficult to hit. Eleven. That'll unfortunately miss. Ah! <laughs> swing, uh, swing and miss. Um, swing and miss. At this point, it's going to <clears throat> go ahead and. What does it look like again? Uh, this this is a spined devil. It has just a bunch of horns, like kind of spines sticking out of it. Uh, has these big kind of wings. Uh, it's carrying this long spear. It just looks kind of all sure. kinds of unpleasant. Um, it is going to. Uh, it is going to fire one of its tail spines out of its tail at, uh, um... Oh my god, wait ten minutes, I will feed you! Uh, at, <laughs> at Journey, uh, it's going to be a oh, 13 to hit. Oh, shit, yeah. Alright, so that's gonna be... Five points of piercing damage. Oh, 
fuck? <clears throat> um. Shit. It, uh, you don't have an exact count, but it did fire out the spine, and the spine does not appear to, like, grow back. So it seems to have a limited number of those. Um. So, uh, yeah, that was its turn. Uh, next up is the other spine devil, which now goes, <laughs> climbs over the side of the other bookshelf uh, and comes down uh, behind the group. We'll go ahead and roll, see who it goes for. One, two, three, five. Uh, six. Uh, it, it's going to come after Gay um, and rolls... A natural one on attack. It just goes thump, into like the into the ground, like right next to you, gay. And then just it tries to pull its <laughs> its uh, kind of lance out of the wood, but it see, but is unable to do so. Um, next up is gay. Oh, I'm gonna open the gate to six. The gate <laughs> rises up from from the ground. Uh, this, um, where do you want to put it? Ahead of you guys, behind you guys. That's kind of the only options in this narrow passageway, as between the bookshelves, anyway. Then ahead, I guess. Okay, so you put it ahead of no. us. Um. <clears throat> so so yeah, the the gate rises up. Uh. And so next up is Troya. Um, so I am going to swing at something. Okay. Whichever one's nearest. The, the, there is one that is on the ground, which will not impose disadvantage yeah. for you to hit. But you have spider climb, so you can just walk uh, up the bookshelf. Yeah, I will walk up the bookshelf and swing at the one that's uh, up there. Yeah, so go ahead and make your attack. Um... 20 with with my plus three to hit that'll hit go ahead and roll for damage okay so i got six plus one then i have a plus two if uh for because i'm dueling when you're wielding a melee weapon in one hand and no other weapon you gain a plus two bonus okay. to damage rolls with that weapon sure and I, I don't have another hand so you know i think that that's pretty safe yeah so nine damage yeah that's that's a good solid hit um Yeah, so you, you 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 hit it pretty hard, and it kind of screeches and we reels back. Um, uh, Echo is up again. Um, at this point, she's going to uh, um, at this point you hear you hear what sounds like like a fast pace like dun 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 da 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 dun dun da 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 dun dun but like it's played on a music box and really doesn't fit you just hear these little notes ding 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 like like weird action like like action music and it's kind of and then it stops and then it resumes and then it stops and then it resumes again uh at which point Echo seems to realize she is doing that somehow. Um, <laughs> and uh, so, and then she's going to, uh, um, for, that's for her bonus action, she does the thing. And then for her main action is going to go ahead and uh, go and take another stab at the thing. This one is unfortunately going to miss. Um, all right, so Minerva, you're up. Charlene? Oh, Minerva. what? Minerva, you're up. Okay, sorry, somebody texted me. Um, okay, uh, well, um, one of them's <sighs> on the ground. You could attack it. Yeah, I'm looking at my new stuff that I have. Uh, I can fly, but Ian, do I have enough room to fly in here? 
Um, you're level two, so fly is a strong word for what you can do. Oh. Um, you can, uh... It says here flight requires 10 by 10 space. Yeah, you, you need enough space, which you don't quite have, but, uh, and then on top of that, um, since you're level two, essentially, instead of flight, you've got what it amounts to a super, super jump, or, like uh, Superman. Or uh, feather fall, so you can like land softly from any height. Okay. Um. All right. So I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna stab the one on the ground with my needles. Okay. Go ahead and roll two attacks. Okay. Um. I rolled an eleven. Uh, that the eleven will miss. Go ahead and roll again. And another eleven. That will miss. <clears throat> There's um, no plus right. to attack for the needles. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it plus two? Uh, it is plus two. Okay, so thirteen well, and thirteen. <laughs> okay, well your first your first roll was eleven. And I didn't add my dex though either, so. Well, no, that... the the plus the plus two to hit includes your dex. Um, oh. Okay. So uh, you've got um, so you rolled an eleven and eleven. Yes. Okay. Then plus two. For the second attack, roll two more. Because your attacks oh. are at disadvantage while you're blind. So, oh. um, so you, you hit with the, the first one, uh, so the first, so you actually don't roll two more, you'll just roll one more. Your first stab okay. hits, and suddenly you can see through its eyes. Uh, go, okay. ahead and roll, go ahead and roll damage for that attack. Okay. Oh, five. All right. And, um, okay, and I rolled a 15, plus two, so 17. That'll hit, go ahead and roll damage again. And three. All right. Yeah, it's, now it's just got two needles sticking out of it, and it looks really <laughs> upset and confused. And it's still trying to pull its uh, giant <laughs> fork out of the ground. Um, Journey, you're up. Yeah, I'm going to make another swing at it with my sword. Okay. Um, 14. Um, so, 14 will hit, yes. Yeah. Wait, 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 this is the one on the ground, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, so 10 points of piercing damage, slashing damage, and I can reroll a one, right? On a, on damage? Yes. Okay. Uh, 10 points of slashing damage and three points of um necrotic damage uh yeah you just turn with that sword and just slash it um spattering a bunch of blood against the the bookshelves uh there it uh it man it, you knock it away for, momentarily from its uh from the spear or from the fork thing trying it's trying to pull out of the ground um <clears throat> it, it's looking pretty rough it's not not doing great uh, the spine devil on top of the bookshelf um, uh, goes ahead, which, by the way, now um, uh, uh, Troya, uh, you see this faint, yeah. almost glowing outline around the one on top of the the bookshelf. Um, uh -huh. It kind of scurries over to. I mean, yeah, it comes. Let's see if it attacks you or uh, Echo. Uh, it goes ahead and takes a swing at Echo. That's an 18 to hit. So that's going to be... Um, oh. these different weapons, each of them gives you a clue of what it is you're going to have to sacrifice. Ah. So, no shit. So what's up? Yeah, so like, well, like, my eyes are closed, right, on yeah. the needle and thread, and the ore doesn't have a mouth, and their hand is disconnected with the scythe, and then the dagger has, like, a mind thing going. Yep. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Hold yeah, on. Alyssa seems to be a river of blood from what I can <laughs> tell. <laughs> Um, Either that or she can turn into smoke, maybe? 
<laughs> yeah, I, I actually uh, uh, put a lot of thought into into those <laughs> into those kind of weird humanoid figures in the teaser image. Um, Where the fuck is that picture? <laughs> I'm trying to find it now. <laughs> um, so uh, in the party page. It's gonna. I know, go but ahead. like I'm trying to find it. Here, I'll see if I can just link you to it, Alyssa. It might be better. Cool. So does, that's six damage to Echo with the first hit, and then takes another swing, which is going to miss. So Echo gets swatted out of the air, but just comes flitting right back. Um, then the other one is going to do a strength tech to try and pull the Trident out of the ground. It's going to fail. Uh, so it just kind of goes eh, eh, and tries to pull the one out stuck in the ground. Um, so, uh, next up is, uh, Gay. Okay, so what I want to do is grab the one trying to get the thing out of the ground and just, like, stick it into the gate. Okay, so, so that's a grab, uh, that's a grab, that's a shove. A shove is what you're, a shove action is what you're trying to do. So go ahead and roll, okay. roll strength. Four. Total. Um... You, you go, you go to shove, and it just kind of bends a little bit, and then kind of pushes back, and just goes ah! in your face. Um, uh, so, uh, you have a bonus action. Um, do I have anything I can use as a bonus action? I don't know. That's I'm that's looking. Um, I don't think I do. No. Okay. Also, I'd like to point out that my stupid mage armor gives me the exact same AC as my AC. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I think I, <laughs> I th that's because I was generous giving you guys AC to begin with. It shouldn't have been quite that mm -hmm. high. So now yours actually should be that high. Congrats. <laughs> um, and we may switch it out between sessions because we got to be wrapping this one up. Uh, this fight's almost done though. Uh, Troya, you're up. Um, I'm going to swing at the one on top of the bookshelf again. Sure, go for it. I contributed. Uh, oh my god, okay, um, so 20, so 23. What, what I got your, a natural what, 20. Natural 20? Yeah. It, yeah, your, your, your hand guided again by the sickle just breaks across its throat and its head spins off its shoulders and then gets immediately uh, wreathed in smoke from your billowing from your blade and pulled in. <laughs> Freaking critical finishes two in a row. Um, then uh, next up is um, as that happens, the body stops glowing, and you see the glimmer of the glow just shift to the one below you. Um, is, is it an evil glow? Do I get a sense that it's an evil glow? Not. Oh, you mean no? You don't. You, your divine sense does not tell you that it is an evil glow. Okay. So cool. wait, is, it, is the other one's body still there? Did it like disintegrate? The the head out? the head disintegrated. The body flops off and kind of falls on top of the group from on top of the bookshelf. Okay. Cool. Um, did you have a bonus action, Troya, or are you just? I, I don't know if you have any. Um, just maybe like strike a badass pose. On the, while standing sideways on the bookshelf. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so Echo is up. Echo's going to spin and and dart, use herself as a flying uh, dart at the one below. You know what? You know what? No, she's going to go for a shove. She's going for what? A shove. So as Gay is over there shoving this spine devil trying to push it through the gate suddenly you see this ha! and the fairy just flits over smacks it in the face and just it just like reels back and stumbles through the gate yes. <laughs> <Beautiful>. <laughs> and, so, and, and, and immediately and like you see the like shimmering image through just like fall in the water and immediately start like scrambling to try to get out um <laughs> Uh, at which point, um, uh, I mean, I guess technically 
I mean, no, it's <clears throat> the, the hands reach up and kind of grab it and slowly start pulling at it and it stops struggling shortly thereafter and starts going under the water. <laughs> Uh, so, as you guys catch your breath from your second successful combat encounter, uh, you, <clears throat> the, the gravity of, you, you hear the, hear another voice from Thaumaturgic, uh, magic amplica- amplification over the library that just says, <clears throat> um, we've held the planar gate open as long as we can. To the rest of you in here, uh, Godspeed. May the, may the gods be with you. And then it turns oh, off. Oh no. I thought it was sound good. <laughs> uh, well, tried to tell y'all that we need to get out of the library. But... <laughs> um, and with that, what? <laughs> and with that, we'll go ahead and call today's session. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Uh, thank you for joining us, Internet. See you later. Bye. Bye.